So as you know, this site is called Biz Buy Sell. This site right here you might have heard of is called Biz Quest. This is a site you might not have heard of, but it, it is Flippa.com. And then we have one that is nice and new and famous called Acquired.com. So why am I showing you these? Because I have a genius. I have a business buying guru on here with me right now, which is also my partner in the agency to partner program. If you guys don't know what that is, that is this right here where we will show you how to add an extra 200k to your income per month by without even having to add new clients if you have an agency already but if you don't then that's why you want to watch this video you'll be able to uh, practically own a business without ever having to invest in them so the let me introduce him this is curtis he was one of my students but now he's way more valuable than that once i found out that he had experience and buying and selling businesses, I know I had to bring him along for the ride and he would be way more valuable as an asset in addition to the, the program, which is why we upped the dang on price, right? So with agency to partner guys, Curtis is going to show you how to pull that Cinderella equity and he's going to explain all of that on this call as well. Out of these local businesses, you can pretty much sell the digital twin without even needing their permission, uh, your portion of it, whatever you own. So you're going to be leveraging these local businesses. They're going to be you're going to be using their resources and their assets to build up your digital twin of that company and you'll be able to sell it off or you'll just be able to continue being a business uh, partner of theirs or you can use that profit that you get from what you made leveraging them to just buy out the company completely. There's never before been a way that you can buy businesses without buying businesses like this. So you guys have heard of seller financing, but this is seller financing on steroids with no risk whatsoever. So Curtis, go ahead and give them a little introduction of yourself, just in case they're new to the channel. Hey, uh, hey, everyone. Uh, Curtis Whip. I am a uh, entrepreneur. I have bought uh, many different businesses over the last, uh, oh, I guess about 18 months or so. And I can tell you that buying businesses the way that uh, we have traditionally bought them is something that you you do not want to do. Uh, you have employed, first of all, you have put out money in some way. If you don't put out money and there's a lot of agencies or a lot of channels that teach you how to buy businesses with no money, well, you still are, it's still risky in terms of if anything is high leverage. So if anything goes wrong, if an employee leaves when the, when the owner is no longer involved, as an example, the income goes down, which means that the, the structure of how you were making those payments, you have to scramble. And so you in this methodology that we teach, there is you take away the, the reason why we call it the Cinderella equity is because it's a fairy tale. It's unbelievable where you can control the business, sell the business or sell your portion of it by creating what we call a digital twin and not have any risk, not have to put down any money, not have to put worry about employees, not have to worry about uh, getting up in the morning and, and uh, regulations and all the taxes and all the implications that go with bad, terrible customers, terrible customer service, all the implications that go with actually owning a physical business. You don't have to deal with that. And I can tell you, you can get peace of mind when you do not have to deal with that. I know firsthand. Awesome. Right. So, so, so the name of this video, guys, and you tell us, uh, give me, give me your honest opinion at the end of this. Tell me how you feel at the end of this. It's called, you'll feel stupid buying a business any other way but this. Now, we heard of seller financing. We heard of you going and getting funded. We heard of SBA, small business loans. A lot of you guys are watching those videos. A lot of you guys are trying to check that out and trying to get approved for funding and all of that. And you're going to have to like old people go in debt and do all of this extra stuff like that. But the way we're going to show you how to buy businesses, if you want to, you know, it's, if you know anything about like crypto, right? Uh, it's something called buy and hold, right? Like you'll buy and hold. Uh, you can do that with real estate too, buy and hold, you're right? Uh, this is the same way, guys. You can you can buy and hold. Meaning, like I know we we're talking about selling off the digital twin. That's an option. To tell you the truth, if you want to stay and own the business, own these assets. Remember, if you ain't got no cash yet, it's because you don't own no assets. If you want to put your name on there and actually be the business owner, agency to partner program is going to show you how to actually be the owner of the business. So it's just taking away one of those steps, which is sales. But the process is the same. When you get in there, you're going to uh, plug into all of their systems. You're going to begin uh, doing analysis on where they at and where they need to be if they were to sell off the business. Right. And what you can do to increase rapidly increase uh, uh, the revenue and the net worth and the valuation of the company to get it ready for an exit. If that business owner that you reach out to decides uh, that they want to still sell. Don't forget that a lot of these people are on these sites selling their businesses, not because they want to. A lot of them don't know what to do. Uh, they got into the business or they bought a business. They can't like they don't know how to get customers. They don't know how to get their operations in order. They don't know how to do any of that. So if you ever watch the show, The Profit with Marcus Limonis, he goes in, he drops a check down, and then he spends the entire episode showing them how to get their uh, standard operating procedures, you know, uh, uh, and, and everything that they need to do in order. He shows them how to be, uh, operate 
the leanest way that they can, stop overspending on things that they need uh, to do and all of that extra stuff. So this will allow you to actually partake in that. If you're an agency right now and all you have is minimal access to the business owner, if you uh, only have uh, minimal rights uh, as far as creative suggestions with marketing or, or, or processes and stuff that you see them doing things wrong that's hurting them and everything, like how you'll drive leads and, and traffic to them, but they don't even pick up the phone sometimes. Like anything you have a problem with, once you become a partner of these business owners, then you have a say-so. If you think that they're hiring the wrong people, they got a son that they hired on and just because they're family and stuff, but the son might be you want to actually voice that, you understand? And you will be able to partake in the, uh, the, the benefits of everything as well. So this is why you want to do it like this, though. As Curtis said, is no risk. You don't have to put any money up front if you don't want to. You never, matter of fact, technically, depending on how fast you want to go, everything is pure leverage. You're going to be leveraging email lists that they already have. You're going to be retargeting right. those emails. You're going to be reselling to those same emails. You're going to be driving new traffic using the ad budget that that business owner already has. You're going to be doing the SEO for them or having it done for them using the budget that they already have combined with the free marketing courses that's, that's going to come with you joining the membership and agency department. Right. So you're going to be fully equipped. That's what's going to differentiate you from everybody else that's going on biz, buy, sell, biz, quest and flipping all of these people. You're going to have a full plan to be able to uh, get their valuation up to the uh, maximum capacity to where they can exit at the, at the largest amount that they possibly can in that in that industry. Right. Without any risk. So when they sell, if they want to sell still, you participate in the exit. You participate in the exit of a company that you didn't even build. So that's why agency to partner program is so powerful. You can literally just find any company that you see in your in your area. <laughs> Maybe you grew up going to a movie theater or something. You're like, man, I always wanted to own that movie theater. Right. And now in the agency to partner program, you'll have the know how. You'll know exactly what to say. You'll know exactly what to do to start driving more. Like, yo, maybe they like, dang, man, people only come on the weekends. You'll be able to like, all right, so what are we going to do to get them in our Monday through freaking Thursday then? You'll know exactly how to drive up ticket sales and and create this this little celebrity aura around the local business to where people in the area ain't even watching Netflix no more. They stay at the movie theater now. You see what I'm saying? You'll have these superpowers in agency to partner. Um, okay, so Curtis, oh, I don't want to just talk. Let me, let, me, let me just add a couple of things. Um the first is you talked about, um, you know, the, the television show with uh, Marcus and, and how he goes in. He still physically remember, we're seeing one hour of a what could be a four month process that he still has to work with these people. He yeah. still has to deal with their attitude and mm -hmm. they didn't get there like they are right now because they were doing everything right. So he has to still go in and correct things. He still has to deal with resistance. He still has to deal with staff. And so what you see on television is all the nice parts. You see a little bit of it, you know, where he, where he has to take back his check or something. But for the most part, you're seeing how things kind of go well. And, and he's still spending quite a bit of time there. It's not that he just goes and drops off a check and he says, here's your SOPs, implement them. No, it doesn't work like that because he's he's dropping off a check for in upwards of a half a million dollars, you know? Oh. And so it doesn't just work like that. We're doing literally almost the same thing in terms of in, in terms of the benefits, but we're not having to take on the whole notion of all the idiosyncrasies that happen in a physical business because we are going alongside of and creating a digital side of the business in which we are leveraging the physical side. And you don't need the owner to do any of that. You don't need the owner to have an attitude about this or that and, and changing how they do their menus and changing how they No, you don't have to do that. This is yeah. the leverage side of it. So that's, that's the first point. The second point is all of the sites that you showed earlier, those people are selling their business. And what I've come to find out is they're selling their business for a reason. Okay. They're selling their business for a reason. I don't want nobody that's selling their business. So how I'm going to use those sites is I'm going to do research on those sites. So if I want to buy a chiropractor business, I'm going to use the research of all the people who are selling chiropractor businesses and I'm going to get data so I can understand the person that is number one, number two, number three in the snack pack. I can understand what is going on in their head. I can understand the valuation of the company. I can understand how much that company is basically worth. I can understand how, how, how much traffic that company is getting. I can understand the, the benefits of buying a company, yet I don't want to buy their company. Here's the reason why. Here's what I found. When you buy a small business, you're buying the reputation of the small business owner. Hey, bars. You're not buying Dunkin' Donuts, who has their own reputation, because you don't know who the hell actually owns Dunkin' Donuts. No offense, but you probably know that it's an uh, Indian that owns Dunkin' Donuts, but you don't know who that family is, right? But you know who bought the local or who the owner is of the local massage therapy place. And when that person leaves, 
the, the loyalty to that company stays with that person. When that person comes back, the loyalty to that company comes back with that person. And so you're going to lose a measure of money just when you buy the company, just for oh. the fact that the owner has left. I don't want to buy any more companies, no more physical companies. I'll never buy another physical company because we can create a digital twin. We oh. can, and we have four ways of exiting. We can sell that digital twin, our portion of the twin, back to the owner. We can sell it for passive income to investors who are looking for passive income. We can sell it like you just showed on Biz by Sale, LoopNet, uh, BizQuest, Acquire, Flippa, uh, Empire Flippers, um, Guiding Light. There's 10 other places. Even Craigslist you can sell the business on. And it's it, remember, this is mostly passive income. So that means you're not doing, you're not getting up in the morning like the business owner is, the physical business owner. And when the digital twin becomes more valuable than the physical, then you have a digital company, which has a much higher valuation with a, you have a digital company with a physical distribution or fulfillment center. Just like Amazon. Just like Amazon versus Walmart, who has a physical company and they're in the e-commerce digital business. Amazon is a digital company who have fulfillment in the physical world. Listen, y'all, he just dropped some bombs right there. If I had a sound effect, I would have hit it. It would have been Hiroshima, <laughs> right? So, like, right, what, what we have to realize, y'all, is you can buy a business, but you don't have to. Like, if you become, if you build a digital twin from it, like, pay attention to this, right? You're like, oh, well, they're selling the business, so we have to buy it. They can do what they want to do. We're still going to make a crap load of money off the uh, off the digital side, and nothing stops. Like, even if, if, if they cut ties with us, that's what I was saying. Nothing will stop. Like, the 10 monetization methods are still going to be plugged in. We're still going to have access. Like, if they shut down today, their old data doesn't evaporate. We're still going to have access to all of their uh, customer data, past and present. And, and now, because we leverage them to build our digital twin, we're going to we're going to have control over future. Y'all understand? And then when we plug into the next uh, local business that's in that area, now we're going to be bringing so much more value to that partnership that we can request a, a larger percentage of that company when we partner with them. Do y'all, do y'all, I hope y'all are getting the power of using them, the one that's uh, trying to sell our business, uh, to build a digital twin. And, and this is another thing, like Curtis brought up. He said, I don't even really want to buy it. We're just jumping in front of you guys because you are trying to buy. We're not saying that that is the best option. Right. In agency to partner, we don't really teach you how to go after businesses that are in distress. We teach you to go after businesses that are doing good. Right. And partner with them. And the whole part of it being passive and hands off is that that business is doing good. So they're not really even trying to sell. Right. So if they want, go ahead. So, so, so let's let's just say because uh, the, the the all of those become really good fodder for opportunities to partner with people. So I, I won't take away from the fact that they they bec- those sites are research sites, but they also become good um, good opportunities because if a person is doing their due diligence, it's going to take three to six months to actually buy a company. So you can get in and you can go to that business owner and basically say, hey, you know, it's going to take a while to buy this business. I mean, you 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 get in with the broker, you. The broker tells you what the business is. You talk to the owner. You say, look, it's going to take a while for somebody to buy this business. Let's increase the value of it while you are doing that. Let, let's, let, let me show you how we can increase the value of it while you're doing that. And boom, now, you know, now you don't have to buy the business, but you had uh, potential partners that's just sitting there, right? And so you don't even have to, they're already selling their business. All you're trying to do is help them, you know, increase the value of the business while they are waiting for someone to come along and do their due diligence and buy. And the value of it, if they have a digital twin or if they are associated with uh, a digital twin, the value of their business increases dramatically. There's another point that, you know, we, we may not, we may or may not talk about the 10, but there's a point that you talked about that I think is very, very important. And that is the portability. The, the, the ability to move your digital twin to someone else. Now, let me, I want everybody to follow this because this is going to be a bombshell here. When you start a digital twin, the 11th, 12th, and 13th bonus pieces, uh, which kind of a, we'll call it a digital, uh, excuse me, a, an affiliate militia. That is, the militia is taking advantage of the customers and the assets that's already in the business. An army, uh, an affiliate army, the next step up is the affiliate army. Well, that is taking advantage of professional marketers, right? So you have mm-hmm. the militia who is the customers of the business already. You can turn that on day one. Then you build a, an affiliate army to pr- to actually promote the the 
the uh, uh, all of the offers that this business has. All right, so you got the militia and the army. Now we're going to just blow it out the water. Now you have the affiliate United Nations, and what is the affiliate United Nations? That's where you have um, you have the business, and then you have compatible businesses that make products or or offers like let me give you an example i have a massage therapist i i link up with a chiropractor and an acupuncturist and together we make a package but they have customers as well so we are going to actually market to all of those customers so if everybody has a thousand customers now we have three thousand customers and all of those become the affiliate united nations now what happens if that Massage therapist says, ah, you know what? I don't want to do this anymore. You have all of these customers over here still. What happens if they say, I'm going to cut our, our business ties? Well, you can go to the chiropractor and basically say, look, we've been part of this affiliate nation, United Nation, and let's do it again. Let's go find another massage therapist. Let's go find another acupuncture. And so you've actually, you've taken one client and you've turned them into three or four, just like that. Boom. 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 So what Curtis is talking about is extremely important y'all like leverage you understand like i want y'all to think about leverage the year 2024 just focus on leverage because nothing is more powerful than that especially when you like when you have partners that are verified when you have partners that are flexible all right and and, and uh what do you call it uh, cooperative and willing and then you combine that with your expertise so guys those of you watching this that are new to the channel that watch cody sanchez and watch all of these other business buying channels we mm -hmm. we, we need y'all to understand that something uh, what's unique about what we're offering you is not that you're just buying a business. This is a, a duplicatable skill that you're going to have now. So mm -hmm. when a person, when, when they teach you how to, this is the punchline. This is the punchline. This is Francis Ngannou going at Tyson Fury's head. All right. I'm about to hit you with the, with the Deontay Wilder force before he, he lost. You can do this over and over if you wanted to. Since is your since what you're building and acquiring is the the digital side of things, there is no uh, 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 no time capsule that you're stuck in. So what I mean about that, he just was telling you guys it'll take three to four months to uh, complete the transaction and the transfer of the physical side of buying a business with agency to partner program. You're creating a digital twin, right? You don't even have to wait until the business owner sells their side of the business. Let's say um they want to sell in a year's time. Like how we're going to show you how you're going to increase sales and traffic and recurring customers and all of that extra stuff within a couple of months time, you might be able to exit with the digital side for more than what they'll be able to exit for with the physical side. And the good thing about it is since you're digital, purely digital, you can be working on multiple business projects at the same time. There's literally right. no cap for this. So you can be working with an old skating rink. You can be working with the local diner. You can be uh, working with a chiropractor. You can be working with a plastic surgeon all simultaneously because like he said, you have more time than the physical partner. You have you don't have to go in to the place if you don't want to. You don't have to, then you're not you're not your your speed is not impeded uh, uh, as far as growth because you don't have to invest any money. Everybody that you get is in the terms uh, of the agreement. They're going to have to agree to allowing you to leverage their budget since you're going to be enhancing the valuation and, and the profits of their businesses, whether they're trying to sell or stay in business. They're they're um. Their duty, their responsibility is to fund whatever you're going to do to help you guys grow together. So if, if you tell them that they need to go and get uh, um, a business loan for something for the business, then according to the agreement, they should agree. Right. Like, remember, they don't have to. But those that actually sign it, they, they are supposed to not breach the contract. Right. Just like you win. Right. So the good thing about it, guys, is you can make a lot of money with this. You're going to plug in the 10 monetization methods or as many as your partners will allow you to plug in. And within a few months, everything could change for you. And go ahead. Go ahead. I, I, I want people to really understand uh, how much money they can make and how quickly they can make it. So, on the physical side, you have to sell, you know, you have to go through the process on the digital side. Let's just so. So first, I want people to understand that the digital is worth more than the physical, like Amazon is worth more than than Walmart and and value is equal to your free cash flow, how much cash you have coming in. And remember, we're going to keep the digital and the physical side separate. So how much cash you coming in? And that is multiplied by your, your the annual cash, free cash flow multiplied by the multiple of the company. Normally, brick and mortars have a multiple of two. Digital have a multiple of anywhere from 3.5 all the way up it, it, to unlimited, right? 
Yes, and so sir. let's just say that your your digital, we're going to leave it at three, which means that for every dollar you bring in, it's really worth three dollars you can sell. So let's just say after a couple of months, we plugged in a few monetizations and we were able to make twenty five hundred dollars on the digital side after three months. Simple, easy, straightforward thing to do. Twenty five hundred dollars. That digital side is now worth twenty five hundred multiplied by twelve, which is basically thirty thousand dollars multiplied by three. The multiple. So now that thing is worth ninety thousand dollars. In three months, you can sell your portion of it for forty five, and be out of it. Or, or you could take that three thousand dollars and do a little quick math and take a hundred thousand dollars from someone and just give them the passive income of twenty five hundred dollars per month because oh. they're getting thirty three percent on their money every single month. And that's, that's how, what I'm sorry to interrupt. That's how the wealthy do it, guys. Uh, some people want to buy uh, passive income. Others want to like jump ahead in the race because a lot of y'all watching might say, dang, if I'm getting, what do you say, $2,500 a month passively, should I probably just, just keep that. And that's why we said at the beginning, you can do the buy and hold type situation with it. Yeah. If you're just looking for just passive income, cool. But if you're, in, um, uh, you know, it's speed to wealth. If you're trying to jump ahead in the game, okay, fine. How about I sell my passive income for a large chunk? Some people want the large chunks and some people want the, the, the smaller passive income. Like uh, his website, his, his business is on Flippa.com that uh, where the website is ranking and Google has been around for a while and it might be making around $500 a month in AdSense mm -hmm. and affiliate marketing. They're not selling it for $500. They're going right. to sell it for a huge chunk. You, you're like, why would somebody pay $10,000 or, or however much for something that's only making 500 a month? Well, one of the reasons that people want passive income is for peace of mind. Like, even though they're coming out of that $10,000 chunk, they only got to come out of that once. The $500 every month is eventually going to uh, okay. give them everything they pay back and then some in the future. So that's 500 that they'll never have to worry about it. You know, Lord will never have to worry about again coming in every month, taking care of them. So that's that's another dang on. Uh, uh, what do you want to call it? A tip for y'all that's getting your income taxes coming up. You might want to buy some passive income. Why? So that you're not waiting for the income taxes again next year. So that's that you right. have something consistent coming in. So let's say your income taxes is five to seven grand is things that you can buy digital you know probably not no offline stuff for real with five or seven thousand well actually it's vending machines and atm machines so technically yeah um but but like you can go on sites like flipper and it's, it's sites that you know that are making two three four hundred dollars a month then you might be able to go ahead and pay that hey with your income tax you're like man but i want to get some shoes stop being a baby quit being stupid okay i would if i got income taxes and i was in y'all situation and I knew about Flipper. Dude, you know how many years I was getting income taxes that I didn't know about this stuff? And it come and it go. You excited for two days and then it's gone. You gave it right back to the man. And now you broke again week to week paychecks and stuff like that, waiting for the next time the government will give their babies something. Right. <laughs> take that income taxes, guys, and buy a business or take the income taxes, guys, and fund your growth with agency to partner. Do whatever you need to do to get out of the rat race. And when I say rat race, I'm not just talking about nine to five. I'm talking about feast or famine. It's the same thing. It's literally right. one and the same. If you are an agency owner right now watching this or anybody that's even watching this and one month you're doing good and the next month you're not and it's not effortless where you're making sales or getting money, then you need, I'm not even going to say should, you need to buy something that's going to create passive income streams. And that is exactly what agency to partner would do. Whether you decide to exit with a partner or whether you decide to buy and hold the income that's coming with the digital twin, whatever you decide to do with it, is going to be consistent once you have the 10 monetization. That's the power. That's where the power comes in. First is the partnership. And then is the 10 monetization methods. Technically, it's just you doing two things. Get the partner. Or if you're an agency owner, then you you convert the client to a partner. Just one as one step. And then plug in as many monetizations that we show you on the inside as possible, as they'll allow. Right? Like, that's, that's, that's it. And the rest will take care of itself. If they need more marketing, remember, you're going after businesses that are already doing good in agency to partner. So a lot of the time, when you once you start plugging in, like one by one, the monetization methods, you'll start seeing, like, yo, I haven't even did my part yet. You'll be like, yo, I haven't even ran no ads for them yet. I haven't even ranked anything new. Well, once you plug in the AdSense, they don't, don't, they don't have AdSense on these local websites. So you plug in the AdSense, in a couple of days, you'll be able to log into your AdSense uh, dashboard and see, dang, I done made, you know, I didn't even know they were getting that much traffic. I done made 15, 20 bucks just in a couple of days off AdSense. That ain't a lot, right? Okay, so now, a couple of days or a week passed by, they got their POS system in the mail. Now they got their new credit card reader and everything. Uh, now they got their, their little payment button on their site switched out. Okay, so now you, you got the positive income coming from the traffic that they was already getting before you even increase the traffic with the ad sense. So now every time a customer in person swipes the credit card, they're going to take a transaction from Oh, okay. Well, maybe they was doing marketing again. But somebody goes to their website. Those traffic when they're resident on the site, they got your ad sense money, right? When they go to the website, they got their credit card ready, email addresses, and I'll send them other stuff. You don't have any other start marketing anything. You're looking to, you're making money, right? 
right? So when we tell you guys, just do whatever you have to to get a partner and then plug in the 10 monetization methods. Well, remember what I just said? It's just a few things that you're going to do, right? Even just those few things. And let's say that you went after five, ten different business owners that are already ranking everywhere on Google. They're already running paid ads. And you just you just have something unique that you're going to offer them to where they're like, okay, I'm already making money, but I definitely want to be able to participate in what this person just offered me right here. Okay, that's enough for you to be all right. Well, I'm about to plug in this. And you just plug in the the least painless option from the uh, the 10 monetization methods. And because they're getting so much traffic, so if you just got if you got Okay, I say one of the least painless ones would be what the AdSense, right? AdSense, yeah. Okay, so I want y'all to picture this. I know a lot of you guys watching this probably don't know nothing about SEO or marketing. If you're an agency owner, then you're gonna see the power and what the hell I'm talking about right now. Me and Curtis, we did the math, so we know that you can get to an extra 200k per month, even with just one partner. The more monetization methods you plug in, the more realistic that is. Every partner isn't gonna allow you to plug in all ten, obviously. All right, but the more you plug in, okay. So let's just say you do the worst. You can only get people to agree to let you plug in one, the AdSense. Okay. And this is not even realistic because you're gonna be able to plug in way more than one, but I just want y'all to see. So let's say you just went around and you went to a niche that got a lot of local search volume, but not that much competition. We'll say uh, a, a garage door installer or, or, or um, uh, pressure washers and stuff like that, right? So let's say that each of those partners, that their, their, their main keyword gets a combined three to 4,000 uh, monthly searches. They're already ranking at the top multiple times. So now three to 4,000 people will be visiting their sites per month and you have four or five partners. Once you plug in an AdSense on that, like think about this guys, if you go on YouTube right now and look up uh, AdSense money, just Google AdSense money. It's a legion, mainly people from like India and different countries that know you know about this, but it's a legion of marketers that that's all they do. They rank assets on Google, they get high traffic volume and they make money from ads. That's That's it. So now this will allow you to jump ahead in the race because your partners are already ranking, already getting all this traffic. So you don't even have to rank anything for real, for real. You're just going to go and place your AdSense on the thank you page with their permission using the scripts that we give you, right? Like, right. And whenever somebody opts in, you're not just getting their email, but once they land on that thank you page, this ads is going to be clicked and you start making money instantaneously. So for those of you who are wondering, if I, if I go ahead and get into this agency to partner program, will I start making money? Plug in. The monetization methods. Yo, I watched the video and then I'm gonna let you talk, Curtis. I know I'll be rambling, right? It's early in the morning. This is when I got the most energy. <laughs> I watched the video and it was a dude talking about how he's not coming out with any more coaching. And he made a point. He was like, dog, they blame me for everything. But when I went to go check their work, they didn't do it. He said, I'll never create another coaching program. They they didn't do anything. They bought it, but they didn't do it. And he was just looking shocked. And I was like, is this, I know. I know this is why people don't want to coach. We want to get back and we want to, we want to help people and, and, and teach them and stuff. But y'all, just because we're teaching y'all doesn't think don't mean it's gonna magically happen. We can make it simple, like ABC simple. But you're you on the other side of this dang on camera, on the other side of the screen. Right. You still have to plug in the ten monetization. Man, it's very simple. Only a few steps, but nothing will happen if you don't do anything. Let me tell a lot all you adults out there that should have common sense. No matter who the program, this might offend and throw some of y'all off. Well, then that really means you need to like strengthen yourself and stop being sensitive. But let me just show you something. You can't go to the internet and complain about gurus if you don't even do what they tell you to do. If what they were talking about didn't work, then they wouldn't even have the little testimonials that they have. Maybe it's just a tiny percent of people that actually do it. You buy it and you think the investment is what's going to magically make something happen. No, it takes action in order to cash in. All right. If you wanted to just invest and make money, then you should have bought an investment. You should have like made an investment in an asset that's already set up or paid for a done for you service. You exactly. can't buy into a coaching program and then just think, yeah, man, I spent money on this. This is going to work. It better work. And then you're still chilling and going to the movies or to the mall or to the dang old club or watching Netflix. And the only time you get hype and, and, and uh, what do you call it? Motivated is when you get back on YouTube and watch a new video. <laughs> do something. Okay, so I don't want to turn this into a preaching situation, but guys, you can add an extra 200K. I, I didn't say it was going to be easy or effortless, but it is simple. Exactly. And on top of that, all you must do is get the partner to agree to you plugging in monetization. If you guys have took your time to prospect, create lists, scrape lists, cold call, and do all of that and outreach stuff, then get on numerous consultations to get your current clients. You have way more than enough strength and courage to just plug in some monetization methods. Plug it in, dog. Anyway, you go ahead, Curtis, because I go. 
I, you know, the, the monetization methods that we're talking about, you talked about AdSense, and that, that was one of the quickest ones, quickest, fast, like yesterday. And it, even if you just plugged in AdSense, that next month, you could actually sell that for passive income. I mean, you need you need fifty thousand dollars. Realistically, that's probably about fifteen hundred dollars. So if you got five partners and each of them were producing for you, uh, you know, three hundred dollars of AdSense, maybe it took a couple of months, but right. it, you, you, you could put that in your pocket almost instantly. And so exactly. the, the things that we are talking about, it can be so, so you got instant from AdSense, literally instant. I mean, all you have to do, I mean, they have a email list. They have SMS right there. Like that can be instant. In fact, that can be faster than AdSense, quite honestly. Yes. If you think about it, AdSense, somebody has to go on a computer and put together. I got an agreement at one o'clock at two o'clock. I can press a button where an email goes out to everybody making an offer and SMS goes out to everybody making an offer. Oh, okay. And we know that a portion of those people are going to buy. It doesn't matter what you're selling. Exactly. We, we know that two to five percent of those people are going to buy. It doesn't matter. And that's weekly every week. Somebody different is going to buy. And so. Mm -hmm. Those two methodologies, like literally within a week, you have income. Oh. And, and that's what it's really all about. Yeah, exactly. So the first portion of this was directed at uh, just typical persons just watching this that probably was searching for how to buy a business with no money down or, or mm -hmm. how to just buy a business. This second portion is going to be for the agency owners um, that we suggest you guys convert your clients into partners. A lot of y'all are waking up. Like I know the, I know the grind. I got an agency, right? So <laughs> a lot of y'all are waking up like around now, like I get up before most of y'all, but around now y'all are waking up and then you're gathering your list, your list that you're going to cold email. You're checking inside your instantly uh, accounts or your GMAS or whatever you use limb list for, for cold email. You're checking uh, uh, your responses from doing your 200 freaking uh, cold DMS on Instagram yesterday. You're doing all of that stuff just for somebody to pay you $1,500 once a month. They're only going to pay you once a month. Curtis, let's use a little bit of grown people common sense, please. Using the skill of a marketer, enhancing the revenue for the company. How many days a month are they going to feel the benefits of the value that you bring? Every, 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 day. Day. every day. Every day. Every day. So how come you guys being the force of power that you are, you've mastered the skill of advertising. You mastered the skill of closing sales, some of you. You're about to plug yourself into their company and change their freaking lives. And the best they can do for you is give you a 60 second testimony. Okay, then I go. All right. I don't know why it does that, y'all. Maybe it's an internet situation. I am out here in the yeah. middle of nowhere in Panama. Um, okay, so they're paying you five, ten thousand dollars a month. You get them results that they're going to keep for life if you did it right. I mean, that, that, that don't make no sense. So they get to experience peace, peace of mind, all of that. All of that. But you got to get back to work as soon as they leave. How come y'all ain't partners where when the business grows, you get to say, okay, man, I'm happy they got the, the three car sales today. Like, How come you can't be happy that they got the three car sales today? Other than the fact that you're going to be able to throw it in the testimonial for the next headache client that you're going to get. Right. I want to be happy for their sales, not just for them. Which a big portion of that is, yes, for them. I want to be of good service. But also, I needed to change my children's life, my wife's life, my life. Mm -hmm. Right? And if I want to be partakers in their life, I owe my children and my wife my time more than this business owner. You guys don't even want to start family, a lot of you, right now, because you're trying to figure out how to get your expenses in order first. And you're creating this agency. I see these interviews and they in the agency five, seven years before things get right. Uh, every month, they got one to three clients. One or two of them leave, and then they're back trying to get another two to get their income back to $10,000 a month comfortably. So they're thinking in their head, like, dog, this just... This ain't right. So I can't I can't bring no kid into this world. Right. So now you you're 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 abandoning your legacies and all of that extra stuff due to financial reasons when life isn't even all about freaking money and finances. So my point is, if there's a, a path or an avenue that you can go down where it can get your finances in order faster to where it's not even in your head, you can start focusing on more important stuff like getting your life together, if not for your family, at least for yourself. You hear me like experiencing the money that you're making like dog. You hear me? Like, what the heck is the point of making money if you're still just going through hell? If you still like, <laughs> you can't live how you want to. That's right. You hear me? Like, people talk stuff about digital marketers and then stuff uh, and affiliate marketers. Okay, I'll, I'll say affiliate marketers. <laughs> let's say let's say affiliate marketers. Agency owners will talk stuff about affiliate marketers and other entrepreneurs too. Oh, they don't want to build a name for themselves. They don't want to build a brand and all of that. Well, check this out. At least they got the most important part. At least they got their time back. At least they got their time back. 
while you sitting building a and we love building a brand. Me and Curtis always talk about positioning and stuff. So there's nothing wrong with building a brand. What's wrong is that you think that's the most important part of life, not even business. You need your time, dog. You're going to look up and be 40. Then you're going to look up and be 60. Then you're going to look up and be buried. <laughs> like, oh, how did I get in this hole? Right. <laughs> that's how fast it moves. Dude, I just turned 37. In case y'all ain't notice how I talk, I still be thinking I'm 25. How did that happen? Because I sat at the computer for a large chunk of that time. And your time just goes, you don't even realize. It. So while you're sitting in prospecting and cold calling and doing all of this, you're setting yourself up. Why don't you get a few? If you already have clients, convert them to partners now immediately. If you don't already have clients, get a few using the methods that we teach partners and just plug them in. If you got two or three, that's it. And guess what? Guess what? The, the biggest punchline of agency to partner, guys, is that no churn and burn. There's no fallout. You can stop talking to them for five years and you're still going to be making money from them. That's right. From the, 10, from the 10 monetization methods you plugged in. You own the digital assets. You own the digital twin. So no matter where they go in life, these three, four, whatever partners you decide to go, you can be modest, whatever. Guess what? I need y'all to focus and look at something right now. The next three partners that you get could be the last partners you get. You, you hearing this, Curtis? Like, I don't think they get that. Like, when we get clients right now, we already know. That's why this agency model is, is destroyed. Because when we get, like, subconsciously, when you get a client right now, we already know. Even when you listen to the podcast, they say we had to factor in turn rate. You know, we know that every month a couple clients fall off. So, you know, you're constantly thinking about that in the back. You're like, who wants to, why I want a business like that? Why do I want a business where I got to factor in turn rate? Right. It's a destroyed, defective model that needs a recall. OK, so with agency to partner, whatever new partners or current clients that you have, once you plug in these 10 monetization methods, they can't cut the umbilical card from you. Not from the money. They don't have to talk to you no more, but they can't cut the umbilical card from your passive income streams. And they can't tell you not to sell your side of the digital twin. Right. This is the true definition of financial freedom and the bridge from financial freedom to to uh, personal happiness is, is not that long of a freaking bridge. Because the financial freedom allows you more time to build up the personal part of your life. You understand? Like, I don't understand why people like I'm so pissed. I had clients for so long. And it's like you're lost in the wilderness and you just keep going in, in circles. You got to You keep passing up a freaking compass. You're not following the stars and you just keep on. You know what? I'm going to find my own way out. God keep throwing compasses at your head. You're like, what's that? And you just ignore them. And what I mean by that is you just stand in a traditional agency model, paying attention to these people that got agencies and then they end up selling the agencies. And you never think to wonder why they sold it because it's hell. It's hell. So stop watching Gazi because you'll notice that he ain't really paying attention to his agency no more. He built, of course, got rich off that. Then he built software and became uber rich off of that. He's not the agency dude no more. Joel Kaplan doing the exact same dang on thing. Mm -hmm. So all these dudes that you guys hold in such high esteem and worship, they're not even trying to be agencies no more. So this is why we created agency to partner because those that wake up out this new, this other matrix, you, you woke up out of the nine to five matrix, cool. But then you jumped into another slavery matrix. So those that wake up out of this agency matrix, which might be a little, a lot more detrimental to your finances and your health, those that wake up realize, dang, maybe I should start doing something else. And they, a lot of them go from agency owner to affiliate SEO. Like, you know what? Why don't I just rank these sites for my dang on self? I'm the one that got the skill. And then now a lot of them go from agency owner to a growth partner. So they're starting to wake up. They still got the agency model, but they're st like starting to realize, okay, I get the retainer, but I also want like a commission from it too. So they got what we call the hybrid method, right? But it's still not all the way there. You want to plug in the 10 monetization methods. Exactly. You can pretty much be an owner without investing. Curtis, go ahead and let them know. Man. Well, I think we should wrap up, David, by basically saying that they, they you can control the company because he who controls the leads and the, the pipeline of the, the flow of money controls the company, literally. And so okay. by plugging in these methodologies, you can have, especially leveraging their their the assets that they already have, you really control what's going on inside the company. And, mm -hmm. and you know, and so, you know, through that methodology, if, if you, you're taken out, even if, like you said, they don't, you don't talk to them for five years, you're, the, the things that you put in place, the structure that you put in place, the infrastructure and the ecosystem still is rolling and you're still getting paid or someone's still getting paid through that process. And I think that's, that is the, like the point that you've been trying to drive home, you know, for the last uh, few minutes or so. Um, yes, sir. So yes, sir. The, so. the, the individuals, let me just say this, the individuals who are looking to buy a company, the benefits of this, I was just thinking about this a, a moment ago, you know, you don't even have, you could go and talk, again, talk to those owners and basically say, while we're waiting, why don't we do this? And everybody can benefit from that. Mm -hmm. The agency owners who are, who are mostly, you know, there, there, there's some, there's some uh, um, mature agency owners who have been around for a long time. I mean, I, I was selling 
um, little websites uh, that that we would monetize for fifty dollars a month, and then turn around and sell them for you know a thousand dollars. I was doing that seventeen years ago. So some of us have been around doing that stuff, but for the most part, we're talking about the the next wave and the second wave generations. And you got to understand where we're going. Um, we are going in from an, from where we are now to an AI aspect, and and that you, you're using AI, and you don't really know what you're using. I know that it's artificial intelligence, and, but what you're really using is leverage. AI is leverage. Now you yep. need to use leverage across the board, and you doing the work and the fulfillment and churning, uh, uh, you know, trying to get customers every day. I seen I uh, seen the other day. I got 436 appointments. Okay, that's a lot of appointments. <laughs> and, if, and, and if you got 10 customers, and if you got 10 of them a month, that's a lot of fulfillment. That's a lot of people who paying you. And they're telling you what to do. You know, at least at your nine to five, you only have one person that was telling you what to do. Now oh. you got 10 people telling you what to do. And, you know, and still you got to churn and fulfill. So my, my point is that this model really, really works for those who are trying to buy a business. And it really, really works for those who are, um, you know, running an agency one way or the other. It, it, it's a it's a great model that allows people for leverage and you can have your time back. But so couldn't have said it better, man. OK, um, so before we ride out, let me show you all something, because. It would be a disservice to you if we didn't show you how we upgraded things. All right. Hold on. Okay. Let me go ahead and switch the screen around. All right. It's not switched around yet. Okay. All right. So there this is the profit positioning. Uh, not the profit positioning agency. This is the agency to partner program. All right. So it says add an extra 200K per month to your agency without adding new clients, plus enjoy equity benefits without investing in them. What I want to say about that, guys, is even if you're just a person on here uh, buying, trying to buy a business, I want you guys to name to me one of those small businesses that you like just off the top of your head know will bring you 200K a month. Right. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? It's, it's not too many of them, right? It's not too many of them. So what we said before is the digital aspect of things, being that you're going to create a digital twin, it gives you more leg room to be creative. You're not just going to be taking what they already have, guys, but we're going to be adding new, introducing new income streams to these companies. Mm -hmm. to the there's no income streams that they don't currently have that are completely digital. And we teach you this inside the agency, the partner program. And they're going to, they're going to like, yo, the partner is going to benefit just as much as you. So it's going to be as it should be. They always tell you, like I've been getting clients for a long time and they always tell you when they don't want to pay you a lot of money up front and they're trying to get you to take commissions. They always say what, um, you know, um, if, if you grow, I mean, when I grow, you grow. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. Not, it's not equal. It's not even, it's not even, you're doing all the freaking like stuff to make them grow. And all they got to do is handle the fulfillment. But technically, they're not even handling the fulfillment. Are they the ones flipping the burgers? No. Nope. So nope. they can just sit back and they're leveraging you. So you need to like benefit from this. So what we did, because there was a lot of people crying and complaining when we did the video talking about how we was about to uh, switch the price from 497 to 5K. So uh, uh, from Curtis's recommendation, we have two new options. You guys have no excuses, especially those of you who already came here with a budget to try to go ahead and buy a business. It would be, you, now you see why we named the title, <laughs> where we named it. It wouldn't be too, anyway, we'll just say we have two options. So access to 5K membership now, only 1K down. So that's not too big of a difference from the 497 that you guys had. And then we break it up into chunks, which is 675 per month across six months. So it'll be paid off. And by then, remember, as you guys saw and heard when we was talking, you guys, you start plugging in the 10 monetization methods immediately. This, you'll be able to leverage those earnings to just go ahead and pay that off like quickly within, you know, a short period of time. Then we have the other option, which is if you wanted the monthly payment to be lower, then you just put 2K down and it's five, 500 a month for six months, guys. So we made it affordable. We made it affordable uh, uh, for everybody. Right? You understand? So in closing, um, we'll say we'll say you're going to have access to the 10 monetization methods. You're going to have access to all of our automation and outreach tools to be able to get your partners if you don't have any. You're going to have instant access to the new private community that we have, right? Like we get on coaching calls together and do all of this extra stuff, right? Uh, you're going to be able to offer your partners the, and you'll be able to make like thousands of dollars uh, once they agree to this little simple offer of us building them an in-house bank where they'll control the money of their employees and they'll control the money of their customers. Nobody else is doing this, right? You came here for just one topic and you got way more than you bargained for. And then Absolutely. you're going to make money when we build their affiliate army as well. Okay. So on top of that, you get the instant access to all of our previous paid uh, courses for anti-job that has something to do with marketing and sales. So $1,000 down or $2,000 down when we were selling all of those courses for over 200 K, I mean, not 200 K for over 2 K guys, this is your chance. This is your chance. We took it from 5K. At first, it was a 5K flat. You came to the site, it said 4,997 uh, bucks. Now it's only 1K down or 2K down. 
once you just get straight in and get straight to plugging in the monetization methods, you start making that back. Okay. All right. So anything else you want to say, Curtis, before we ride out into the sunset? No, I think we're good. I think I'm good. Okay. Yeah. All right. Guys, go ahead and take action because in order to cash in, that's what you got to put in. How can I buy a ton of businesses? That's what we're going to break down for you. How do you buy a business for $0 in one week creative financing? So it's almost 2024 and you should know that one of the dumbest things you can do this late in the game is to buy a business using money. I have my partner and friend, ex-student named Curtis on here. He is an experienced lethal business buying and selling machine. And he's going to give you guys, uh, we're going to go through 10 reasons why buying businesses using your actual cash or using somebody else's cash is they, they might be the worst options when it comes to buying businesses. Then we're not just going to leave a little homie on stuck. We're going to give you five benefits of using creative seller financing instead of using cash. So Curtis, uh, once again, give them a little bit of background on yourself um, if, if they're new on the channel. Yeah, Curtis Witt. Uh, I see I've bought and sold uh, several businesses over the last couple of years and a uh, veteran and came to look at the, the things that are, quite honestly, the, the things that go wrong in buying a business with cash or even using investor money as opposed to being very creative and being innovative and being able to do some of the methodologies that we talk about in Agency to Partner. For sure. So you should be afraid, be very afraid uh, when there's channels out there that's just telling you to leverage your credit or even somebody else's credit. There's, there's nothing wrong with using credit in a lot of situations. But if you have the option to leverage an entirely different uh, um we're going to get into it because how we're going to show you how to do it, how we show you to do it in an agency to partner, it, it doesn't really leave a, a cookie crumb trail back to you as far as liability goes. That's the big word that I want you to do. Everybody watching this right now, get a pen, piece of paper, write down, cancel liabilities and cancel responsibilities too, right? Okay. <laughs> so we're going to hop right in, guys. And I want y'all to know at any point in time that you are, uh, are ready to do this, you have two professionals. I'm the king of this online digital marketing stuff. I've been on here since 2015. Go all way back on my channel you'll see me mastering cpa marketing and teaching people how to make money with that now we jump to the future and present and i've been teaching people how to convert their agencies into owners so you become part owners of these businesses instead of just getting some retainer five thousand dollars a month and pay per lead you can actually be part of the deal when they sell it off if they ever decide to do that or we show you a way of selling your digital assets of that company that they built for you using their money you can sell that off but we'll get into all of that um just know that in the first pan comment there's an opportunity for you to hop on a coaching session with me and Curtis ourselves live for two hours. And we're going to walk you through an entire 10 monetization steps that if you have clients already or if you need partners or whatever, you can plug these 10 monetization steps in instantly. And the result of that, the more you plug in could lead to you getting to around 200K or more per month. No exaggeration. The more steps you plug in, you can definitely get there. Okay, so now I'm going to put Curtis in the, uh, the game first. And uh, we're going to start with the 10th reason buying a business using cash is risky or dumb. So we're going to say, Liquidity constraints. What is yeah. that? So, so, so when you buy a business uh, and you use your cash or someone else's cash, you have a you have a, a basic a, an amount of cash that that you need to use, right? And and unfortunately, once you use all that cash, now if you don't have reserves or you don't have something that uh, allows people to. Um, be able to be ready for things that go wrong because things are going to go wrong. And then you have some constraints there. You basically are using all of your available money to buy the business, which mm -hmm. may leave you with no money to be able to structure the business and do the things that you need to do from a marketing perspective for, and take advantage of any opportunities that well, will certainly come up after you buy that business. Okay, that bars right there. Let me give you guys a, a real life example of what he's talking about right here. So say for instance, okay, if you're a younger guy, and you've been sleeping in your mom's basement all your life, and you finally saved up enough money to get the console, the gaming console that you want. But you get the gaming console, you thought it would come with at least one game, like back in the day when you get the Sega, but when you got it, it didn't have no game in there. You spent all the money on the console itself, but now you don't have any money to purchase a game. Right. Imagine if you had somebody else or some creative way to deal with that business. For example, all right, let's say it's PlayStation or Xbox and you reached out to them and you said, yo, instead of me paying you guys for this PlayStation or this Xbox, I'm going to say, how many, watch this, pay attention, how many paying customers would I need to send you in order for you to give me a complimentary console? Boom. Okay, so you send them the five or the three people to buy the actual PlayStation console, right? So you didn't come out of any money on your side. Now you do have a little bit of change to go and buy the 20 to $50 video game to put into the console. So these are the type of things that we teach you in agency to partner, leverage, leverage, leverage. And now for the grownups, you've been saving up to get the apartment or the house. Now you finally got, like, it, it costs a little bit more than you thought, like, right? So you thought it was just first and last month rent. 
for some reason, when you got there, they said, yo, there's other people that want this too. And judging off of your past and all of this stuff, we're going to need a deposit too that matches the first and last month. They do that, don't they? So now the money that you were going to use to get the basic furniture is a mattress, maybe a kitchen table and something to sit on in the living room, right? Now you had to use that for the dang on down payment as well. So now you don't have anything to sit on or sleep on. This is why you don't want to use cash. You buy a business. Okay, now the business is blank. You got all these dreams and stuff to grow the business, but now you didn't use all the money that you could have used to grow the business to buy the business. Yeah, man. Right. Absolutely. So let's talk about number two, opportunity cost. And what does that mean? Okay. So it says investing all your funds in a single business may mean missing out on other potentially lucrative investments or diversification opportunities. So check this out, man. Um, what if you have an idea for, let's say, uh, a smoothie shop, right? This is a health smoothie shop, right? And the smoothie shop is actually cheap. It's not that much money. But you would think it would be perfect if it was coupled with a gym, like the gym would be next door. So right before people go to the gym and after they go to the gym, this smoothie place is where they can get their, ref they, uh, they, you know, refills and, and their energy and all of that extra stuff like that. Right. If you were able to use a creative way to finance the gym, because the gym would be way more expensive than the smoothie shop, then you can take the little remainder or the chump change and go ahead and just slap down on that smoothie shop. And even better, you can use the fact that you own, you can leverage the fact that you're the new owner of the gym to actually acquire the smoothie shop, right? right. Especially right. if they're right close to each other. But if you spend all your money just investing in one, look, if you're not Bill Gates or one of these dudes out here, uh, it's difficult to scale, especially if you want to scale rapidly, guys. So the way we're trying to teach you guys is to use as much leverage as possible. And cash, yours and other people's, is limited. <laughs> cash is limited. Even if you're, okay, oh, well, yo, Curtis, David, we're using other people's money. Okay, well, unless you have a black book with a whole crap load of rich friends that won't ever cut you off, you're limited. They're going to say, all right, man, I gave you 50K. That's all I can do for you. You're going to go to the bank. They're going to say, then you just buy one. You know, okay, let's see. Let us see what you can do with this. Come back in two, three years, and maybe we'll help you out with that. But how we use creative seller financing, we can buy into without investing our money. We can buy into multiple businesses this month just by creating this partnership with this business. All right. So some of you guys watch Cody Sanchez, and she talks about seller financing a lot. Uh, then there's other people. I think it's a dude named Roland Fraser. Um, mm -hmm. I, I don't really know too too much about that dude, but some people talk about seller financing. But what's unique about me and Curtis is we have the the advantage of being an agency. So instead of just paying them back with their own uh, 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 profits or whatever over time or whatever, we can make that same deal, but we can speed it up. So it might have took you three years to pay it off and it fully be yours or something. But how we're going to show you to do it? Maybe it takes six to eight months or something, right? Depending on like what what they're asking and everything. All right, so let me go ahead and head off to you. Reduced financial flexibility. What's going on with that, Kirk? Well, that basically that basically falls right into what we just or piggybacks right off of uh, right we what we just talked about, which is the opportunity cost. You reduce your financial flexibility. So if you put all your money down, like you said, let's say you put all your money down on the smoothie shop, you don't have the opportunity to invest in the gym, or vice versa, you put all the money in the gym, you don't have the opportunity to invest in the smoothie shop, and so um, it just reduces your your flexibility. Also, if something goes wrong, and it will go wrong, <laughs> um, an employee decides once you, once you take over the employee decides that they want raises now I mean, they didn't want raises over the last five years but now or the owner didn't give them to them but now they're a a in a dependency on your your business is dependent on them and now they they got you over a barrel because they want to raise and the uh you know now you got to pay them or they leave and they crimp your business or more likely what happens is and this happened to me at least seven times the business owner leaves the business <laughs> owner is the brand in small businesses which means yeah. that they have no obligation to you which means that that revenue is going to drop now you actually still owe that money but the revenue is not what it was projected to be uh, and, really. and you don't have the money to now funnel into marketing because you used all the money to buy the business and Boom. that's a problem. That's a huge problem. And so you lose the financial flexibility if anything goes wrong. Everything has to be 100 percent. And we know just living that everything's not going to be 100 percent. You better be ready for the be expecting the unexpected. And, so. and, and so financial flexibility is, is very important to have. But you reduce it when you are utilizing all of your cash or any of your cash. You, you We teach you a different way of doing it where the owner actually is using the cash to grow the business. There we go. Come on, man. Let them know. See yeah. what what y'all have to realize, y'all. Okay, let's say you do the the uh, the typical. Uh, <laughs> we want to take the risk away, right? So let's say you do the typical seller financing business model, right? 
Um, and like, like, like Curtis said, you're going to be obligated if you want to buy that business. Whatever y'all agree to on that contract, it doesn't matter if it's a recession. It doesn't matter if Snowvit happens again. I know what I'm talking about. It doesn't matter. Remember all those shutdowns and, and all of that stuff? You're still responsible for like uh, fulfilling what the contract says if you want to own that business. So if everything shuts down, you're not going to have the revenue to pay them. If they say, oh, we want you, you know, paying us 5K a month, you know what I'm saying? Like 5K a month. Okay, well, if y'all got to shut down for months, right? Then you're going to be super behind on that. Maybe they flexible with you or something, but who wants to be in that position where well, you got to play catch up? How we're going to be showing you how to do it, guys. You're adding extra digital revenue streams that are online only. No overhead for these businesses that increase their uh, their profits uh, and their valuation and everything. So even if something was to shut down offline, these people would still be profitable online and you would still be making money online and you would still be able to uh, follow through with your commitments and not have to slack behind. So, <laughs> yeah, anyway, yeah, let's, let's, let's go ahead. Lack of leverage. The lack of leverage. What do you think about that? Okay. So lack of leverage. Financing a business acquisition with debt allows you to leverage, uh, potentially increasing your return on investment using only cash. Eliminates this leveraging opportunity. Okay. So debt is cool. Um, but in this situation, we don't even want the debt right now. Okay. This is why being an agency first gives us a leg up on anybody. If you're watching this right now and you're an agency, then you have a leg up on anybody, even if they come with money, because all they can do is come with money. You can increase what they want to sell the business for using what you know and get them a larger exit, right? That's way more valuable than their asking price right now. Okay, so let's say, all right, so with a business, let's say you want to buy the business with cash, all right? Even if you wanted to use a little bit of debt, I wouldn't buy the business itself with cash. This is what I would do. I would do the creative seller financing on that side of things. And then if I still needed some type of loan to, I would use debt. I would use a loan to speed up me paying it off. I would put the money that I borrowed Somebody else's money that I borrowed into the marketing and advertising. All right. But I wouldn't put it into the buying of the business. I wouldn't put it into the purchase. All right. So because like Curtis was saying, when you do get the loan, that's to buy the business and you might not have any left over to actually grow the business. So if you know that, don't use the money that, that you can get from a loan to buy the business. Buy the business is way more creative ways to buy in a business. So use those ways to buy the business and then use the loan to grow the business. So Absolutely. when you just Absolutely. use cash, you don't have that much leverage. You don't have the room for all of that. Go ahead. All right. Oh, uh, potential. Uh, did you want to say something on it? No, no, I'll, 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 we can go on. That's good. Okay. Okay. So potential for better returns elsewhere. Okay. So imagine it's five months ago or so, and you bought a business and the revenue was decreasing, but you saw that Bitcoin was at 17,000, 18,000 and it's now uh, almost doubled that. And you're like FOMO. Oh God, I missed out. You missed out because you used all the cash over there and there was a better return over here. Now your return is almost a negative or you're taking stuff out of your pocket. And believe me, I'm talking from experience. I'm not talking from the fact that uh, this never happened. I'm talking from 13 businesses of experience. And so I understand like when you were talking about the debt, you got to pay that debt back, people. You got to pay that back. And if you didn't structure it right, you could be in huge trouble. And so the the potential for a better return, you can almost get decent, not not great returns, but you know the, the treasury bills are now up to five, six percent. And and, you know, which is safer than anything else. So if you're not getting at least 10 percent on your return or if you're in the negative, now you're looking at it like, man, I shouldn't have bought this business. I shouldn't have used all this cash. or I shouldn't have borrowed this money from these people in order to pay for this business. And then if you use one of the drawbacks from seller finance is if you use seller finance and you aren't able to make the payments, guess what happens? Just like just just like the <laughs> just like the, um, the choke truck guy, uh, 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 they repoing the business. They are repoing the business. And so you got to understand the huge risk that you are taking when, when you're using debt, seller debt, you know, because Cody teaches that Roland Fraser is the king of no money down. But there has to be money, especially if you're using a broker, there has to be money involved. But there has to be some money transacted in order to make the business happen. And whether you're putting money up front or whether you're taking on debt, both are have risky propositions and you miss the potential of a better return if you don't do it the way we're talking about. See, that's what I'm talking about, y'all. Like, I know a lot of you guys, like you said, watch Cody. A lot of you guys watch uh, Roland. And then there's this other guy. Uh, I can't yeah, think of his yeah. name. And, uh, you, you have, you know, five or six uh, yeah. heady years out there. But they're all teaching around taking on the responsibility, the accountability, yeah. and some form of debt, whether, whether it's seller finance or whether it's your own cash or whether you're doing it with credit. They're all teaching something that still is a risky proposition. Yeah, that's yeah. You are taking on huge risk. The way we show you, there's really no risk at all. For sure. For sure. Now, let me clarify. We are not bashing anyone. Absolutely I like, not. I like, 
Cody for sure. I really like her. Um, Roland with you know, despite the nose, <laughs> the red nose, you know what I'm saying? He cool too. My thing is this, like you said, we're coming out of risky situations already. If you're an agency owner, it's rock feast of famine months and stuff. You're already in a risky business model right now. If you are trying to leave a nine to five, it's already risky. You can get lose your job at any time. Like stuff sucks, right? But using the way that we teach you is to eliminate the risk. Remember what we told you guys in the last one. Okay, let's say you got a client or a partner. You plug in a 10 monetization methods. They begin building your digital twin, your digital assets, the digital clone of their, their actual business. You're using them to fund that. That's going to increase the valuation of their business in total. But even if they were to cancel working with you guys, it allows you, you still have ownership or at least partial ownership of the digital twin. So you're still going to be making money every single month off every single sale. And if they were to sell the company, you're still good. So this, you're going to partake in that, even if you're not even on good terms talking to them. Right. So so the, the whole goal was to eliminate as much risk as we possibly can. So now let's pay attention. You don't have to put any money down to work with these companies. Matter of fact, they'll probably pay you to build a physical twin for them. Uh, so that's already different. We're not saying we're better than anybody. We're not saying we're better than Roland. We're not saying we're better than Cody. Whatever. Like who you like. But what we are saying is we're giving you a different option. You've heard it all, right? Now, this is something different for you that allows you to not have to put any money into a business, but still uh, um, uh, enjoy, have the privilege of enjoying, having the pleasure of enjoying the, the equity benefits of being a part owner of the business you never even invested in just by bringing to the table your skill sets, helping them grow how much they're worth, helping them accomplish a larger exit or expansion. That's another option. Some of these companies are stuck at one or two locations and have no idea how to, to, how to expand. What you know how to do or what you will know how to do will allow them that. And as they grow, guess who else grows without risk, right? Your name doesn't even have to be on the LLC. Your name doesn't. If they go through a lawsuit, you don't have to be attached to it. None of that stuff. So if anybody else is teaching you to be in a business, guys, like, you can happen to you, right? So, I mean, yeah. So the risk of overvaluing the business. This is okay. So what we have on here, it says, this is a popular belief. It says, when using cash, there might be a temptation to overvalue the business and ignore potential risks, as there is no external financing involved that might impose a more critical uh, evaluation. So I'm going to break that down as much as I can. And if I get something wrong, because guys, I only sold one business. Curtis, like I told you, I'm the online marketing guy, sales dude. Curtis is the professional as far as Buying and selling the business. So I'm gonna try to tackle this one just based off of, uh, what I know. All right. He's gonna, we're not gonna just put bad information out there. If I'm wrong, he'll let me know. All right. So we're gonna break that down. It says, when you use your own money, guys, to start or run a business, there's a risk that you might think your business uh, or the business is more valuable than it actually is. This is because they're not getting money from others like loans or investors who would usually ask tough questions and make sure you're not overlooking any problems. So using your own cash might make it easier to ignore potential issues and think your uh, your business is better off than it is. OK, it's a bit like being your own boss and not having someone else's uh, someone else double check your decisions. So how did that go? That, that went very well. That, that was very good. And I, I can tell you from experience, I talked about earlier that 30 percent and, you know, you walk into the door and the, and the other the former owner walks out of the door. Um, you walk in through the outdoor, so to speak, as mm -hmm. Prince used to say. And I am telling you that when that revenue dropped, that revenue is based on your 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 buying price was based on the revenue that was being generated. Mm -hmm. Now the revenue mm -hmm. has dropped dramatically and yeah. you're, but you're still holding the bag. So you're right. When if you are not thinking about that. And unfortunately, I didn't think about that through the first 12 businesses. But if you're not thinking about that and the revenue drops, all of a sudden that business is not worth what you actually are paying for. And yeah. here's the other thing. The broker will say, well, we have 10, we have five, we have three other people who are interested. That's a damn lie. And I'm say it. It's a damn lie. They don't have nobody that's interested. You know, <laughs> and the more time, one of the things that we specialize in is we specialize in being able to turn, you know, buy the business within 60 days. That was a mistake. We should have took six months to buy the business as opposed to, because the more time goes by, the more desperate the owner becomes and yeah. the price just continues to be reduced. And, and honestly, it, it probably after six months is reduced to the point of where it actually should be. And so yeah. you have a huge risk of underpaying uh, for the business. If you just go in there and, and let alone all the other the five or six other things that we've talked about um, in terms of using your own money, you have no risk on our side as it relates to that. You have no, 
no uh, no responsibility, no legal responsibility, no accountability. You know, you don't have those things as it relates to how we're teaching you how to do it. Again, yeah. we're different. It, it, it's, it's better, worse, or the same. It's different. We're the only people that's teaching you how to go up on the side of the business and run with the business as opposed to you know, being part of the rate relay. Uh, we, we're on the side of the business running with it and creating value that is value for everyone in the whole ecosystem. And so that's sure. what important. See, you know, he's golden, y'all. That's why y'all here, man. Like, he's golden. He know what he's talking about. See, this is the thing, y'all. Like, when you're, I don't know if y'all ever bought, uh, oh, ooh, a good example. Man, have you ever bought a clunker before? Like a lemon, like a, a bad car. You knew that you can get a car for two to $5,000. So all you was thinking about was trying to get the cash for that car. And you were so excited that you came up with the cash for that car that you was like, I right, well, whatever else is, is wrong with it. Like, I, I can I deal with that. Whatever. I, you know, I need a car. That's kind of how it is when you're looking for these businesses. You just want so badly to own a business, to say that you own a business, that you'll come up with the cash. But you are you're rushing when you when you're coming up with the cash. Most people are rushing when they're coming up with the cash. But if you're thinking on terms of leverage, you take your time. Right. You're like, OK, I want to do this because leverage just leverage implies safety. Right. Leverage implies uh, no risk. But cash is in in the in the in the world. We think the cash is no. I don't want to use my card and stuff. No, 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 no. Cash is not the safe option when it comes to a purchase like this. Like this, right. leverage is the safest option because, like he said, you're looking at how much that company is worth, how it's listed. But things are going to change when you acquire the company, Absolutely. right? So you can't look at it in terms. You need to like save a penny for a rainy day. I'm not going to put all my cash into this when it's things that's going to happen that's unforeseen. That's the point, guys. Like it's going to be some cu uh, some customers that's going to stop using it just because it's under new management. It's going to be some staff that might leave just because it's under new management. You might make some type of weird uh, uh, positioning de decision, change the mascot or whatever, and things could just 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 change, right? Or the people that they have uh, joint venture partnerships once they figure out that you're ahead in the company now, they could dip. So you have to base your pricing, you know, like uh, how much you want to pay for that or how much risk you want to put in it based off of the changes that are uh, that could possibly happen, guys. And not when you're possible. using that will happen. <laughs> it's inevitable. It's inevitable. That's my thing. You don't know is what the will be. So you don't know that it's going to be COVID, but some people knew that it was going to be some event. If you didn't know what it was going to be, you have a crystal ball. And I'm telling you, that crystal ball is, is like cloudy. It's real cloudy. You don't know what's behind it, but you know that there's something behind it. Yeah, and that's the most important thing. That yeah. is huge. You better understand that there's something behind it because it's not utopia uh, behind there. It is there's something that's going to happen. And you just need to be prepared for that. But why exactly. go through all that? Why go through all exactly. that? When you don't have to. You don't have to have that nothing up my sleeve, that magic trick that's going to happen to you, and it's going to be black magic, <laughs> so to speak. <laughs> you, don't have to, you don't have to go through that. The way we're teaching you, you, you run on the side of it, as opposed yeah. to run with it, you know? Yeah. So you got to understand that there is certainly risk there of, of overpaying for the business, and something is going to go wrong. And the valuation, you know, just just take 30% of the cash flow away from what they're saying, because there, there are lies and there are damn lies and when owners are selling businesses those are damn lies for sure for sure and i heard i saw a couple stories on flipper.com uh this is on a smaller scale uh where they'll buy the website and like 50 percent of the traffic will leave you know what i'm saying like yeah, yeah. you know exactly. so like they can't a lot of those a lot of business owners can't pass off everything to you they some of them try but a lot of them like either don't know how or don't want to pass off everything. Some of those, like I was just saying earlier, some of the, let's say 40% uh, of the traffic is referral traffic. Mm -hmm. They were only referrals because they liked the dude they were dealing with. So now exactly. that they don't know you, now they're not going to recommend people to come to you when you might have different policies from the last person that, that owned the company and all of that stuff. They're not going to refer their best customers to you when they don't know you yet, maybe later down the line. But for mm -hmm. some months to a year, you're going to miss out on all that traffic and sales. So those are our risks with, with, with this, guys. So don't think with your cash. Think with your leverage. Um, let me see. Yeah, I, I know majority of you guys heard of Ty Lopez before, and this is what me and Curtis is trying to get y'all to see. Pay attention to waves. Um, uh, people are trying to eliminate risk. You want to make it to where you thrive in a recession. You don't even know what's going on. When I first moved out of the country to Mexico, when Snowbit was going on, we I didn't have no. It didn't bother me at all. First of all, Mexico didn't shut down like the rest of the world. We were still partying and doing all that extra stuff. Mexico, they care about money. You hear me? They don't care about. Me. None of that stuff. Um, um, but other than that, like business didn't stop for me. Like we were still making a lot of money because we set up things uh, that weren't relying on on brick and mortar, physical stuff like that. So how me and Curtis teach you, you're going to have 
backup. You're going to build a digital twin. So even if you did decide to actually go ahead and buy the full actual uh, business, you know, the full entity, I'll give you an example. During Snowbit, what the restaurants that survived, what did they do? They they went they they some of them went to ghost kitchens. Some of them, you know, uh, went they to, opened they up got delivery. Really creative. They opened up delivery. They exactly. opened up delivery. They went. A lot of them were never online before. They didn't even have websites. But if they, they had to single swim, they had to go where people were going to be. Since people weren't going to be in the streets anymore, they had to go where people were going to be. People were going to be on their phone the entire time. So they started putting all these restaurants and businesses on DoorDash, Uber Eats, uh, uh, Instacart, all of these places. And that's how they were able to survive. Why am I bringing this up? Because we're letting you know the digital side is stronger than the physical side. So when you go into buying these businesses, automatically think on, OK, how quickly can I get them to let me plug in the 10 monetization methods and start building my digital assets, my digital twin? Because that's going to survive the hurricanes. That's going to survive the mudslides. That's going to survive the volcano eruptions. It's going to survive the tsunamis and tidal waves. The digital is. I mean, I can't see anytime soon unless Christ comes that the Internet itself is going to be shut down. But businesses will be shut down physically. But guess what? online sales skyrocketed every single time in some type of recession or where we can't go outside or some martial law or some bull crap where we can't do things physically digitally we become way more capable right absolutely so that takes right. the risk away risk away absolutely all right let's move in okay inability to okay. withstand economic downturns what's going on it it, right into what you were just saying it, it just <laughs> right, aligns with just what you were saying your inability to i mean if you put all your money and you bought this business and you don't have digital assets and you don't, you're, you're not leveraged. And I'm not just talking about some e-commerce website, but a digital yeah. asset is you, you talked about referrals. Well, the way we do referrals in terms of the militia is, you know, you don't, you, you won't lose people with the militia, the affiliate militia, because those customers who are now part of your militia, not your, not your uh, uh, affiliate army, but those customers who are part of your militia are getting commission. And they, it doesn't matter to them, quite honestly, who's the owner because they are getting commission from me referring people over to you and it doesn't matter to them what happened i'm getting paid um that's an asset for sure. that, that affiliate army is an asset your partnerships with compatible businesses that make a what we call the affiliate nation that's an asset right an asset. And those in, those um allow you to put a hedge around the whole mission of the community notification, our little websites, our, our, um, any assets that we're having, we are doing it digitally such that the, if people are spending, spending money and they will spend more money, you know, no matter what the economic downturn is, unless we just have a crash on which, you know, we found that, you know, we need side going such that you can um, weather the ups and downs of the normal economic downturns and which we know that they will be there anyway. Um, so that, that's, that's usually important. Let me just, let me just read quickly the, the piece where we talk about it. And it says, you know, basically the, our, our limited opportunity as it relates to that would, would be uh, relying on solely on cash that, may, that will save you makes you vulnerable. Basically, it really, and I just talked about uh, during economic downturns when having additional capital from loans could help weather the challenge. So if you have daily distribution through your digital assets, you can have more access to capital, which could help you weather the downturns. And that's part of you know, what we're talking about. But it all basically boils down to one thing. Do you have other assets that will continue to flourish regardless of the of the downturn and can you leverage those assets be it uh, a militia an army a nation uh, a mobile website a sales chatbot um you know i'm not talking about a customer service chatbot i'm talking about a sales chatbot uh, a, a a cloned uh, website do you have those things do you have things in action that would allow you to upsell downsell cross sell those are the things that we're talking about. Because if somebody comes into the into your <laughs> into your business, most likely that twelve, fifteen, even seventeen dollar hour clerk is not going to be Tax benefits. All right. Now, I'm not going to dive too deep into this because I cannot give 
legal advice, and I'm not Wesley Snipes. They ain't going to get me. Uh, so what I will say is this. Well, everybody watching this knows that there's benefits to tax benefits to owning businesses. And when you are a digital twin, when you have a digital twin and you become part owner of these businesses, you have write-offs, okay? You have an abundance of write-offs if you have multiple partners. What am I saying? Okay, so let's say, let's say that you are, are the, the average business owner. You own that one business. You only have the benefits of those write-offs for that business. But how we're teaching you, you can have five partners within the next couple of months, right? Mm -hmm. So the things that you're going to have to do to put in work and to help grow those businesses, those are going to be write-offs as well that were funded by that partner, though. But since your name is on the agreement, you'll be able to write those off. You'll be able to claim that. But that's as far as your buddy goes with that right there. I'm not going to... Did you want to say anything about that? No, that will be the thing. <laughs> I ain't, yeah, you hear me? I'm trying yeah. to stay off radar. Okay, so <laughs> let me go ahead with this. Limited scale of operations. So, so I'll make this one quick because if you have, if you have a brick and mortar, you are limited by the amount of cash that you have, quite honestly. And you are, you will be limited amount by the, you're limited by your, how innovative you are. Whereas on the other side, from a digital perspective, and I'll, I'll just take the example of the militia, which is your customers, the, the database of customers, the uh, army, the affiliate army, which is the marketing professional marketers that you can attract to your business that will um, sell your irresistible offers and the affiliate nation, which are your partners, a militia. So you have, you know, if you, if you're a massage therapist and you have an acupuncturist and a, and a, a chiropractor and you guys come together and make a package, you have access to all of those people that allows you to scale. Digital so, allows you to scale and you can scale across the world if you chose to. And so, so you can't so, do that when you are when you put all your money in the business and then you have no more money. You you know, you you just can't do it with a brick and mortar and you are broke in essence. Exactly. Can I add something to that? Well, please. Good thing about building the digital twin guys, right? The good thing about building the digital twin is that once it increases the the revenue you'll be able to scale offline as well. So remember, we said that we're teaching you, like my agency, Profit Position and Agency, we specialize. Like we we decided, yo, I don't even want to be known as a marketing agency no more. But we might use marketing to do the goal, which is to uh, help companies expand. You know, company expansions are exits, right? Those are the two goals now for everything. Whatever marketing, partnerships, whatever we do is literally just for expansions and exits. I want y'all to think the exact same way. Knowing that, what are the fastest ways for you to expand? If it takes money, well, you should leverage something. Leverage the internet. Okay, you're not going to be able to speed up your sales offline. It's ex extremely difficult because you have to worry about. Uh, it's too much you have to do to scale up offline. But online, it's as simple as me creating a downtown location. We can create a digital restaurant online downtown. So let's say that the the main hub is located south side of St. Louis. Okay, so now we know one. casket when i say the dream they don't know what you got so negotiation is is like i said it's limited so let's say we're going to bid buy sale and somebody is trying to sell their uh pressure washing company for fifteen thousand dollars i don't know i never checked it out fifteen twenty thousand dollars okay right a lot of these people have no idea what is actually possible which is why they're selling some of them not even 50 years old and they're selling so it's not really an age thing they just don't know what to do if you just come up with cash and that's all you have uh uh to offer then that's it it's just going to close that's that right. deal and that, that's going to be it. So no room for any flexibility or creativity. No way to keep them on. Majority of them, if you give them what they ask for, they're not staying on. But if you approach them with a more creative way, a more creative offer, like, yo, what if we expanded the business? Would you stay on there? What, what do you think about staying on if we expanded the business? Got multiple locations. You see what I'm saying? Like, then what? how would you feel? If how much How much per month would it take for you to stay on. So you see what I'm saying? People aren't, aren't approaching these people like that. So now they're like, Shit. okay, so he's going to give me more money per month to stay on. Um, uh, I can still own a portion of the business and we can actually expand this and have multiple locations. Who is this guy? Right? So when you're just paying with cash and that's all you got, like that's, that's all you can do. We don't want to pay with cash. <laughs> we want to approach them with a proposition that's going to make them richer than they ever thought with the company that they're trying to get rid of. Right. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? So 
Yeah, man, that's you get to negotiate better terms because I don't want, like Curtis said, fans, watch this, guys. If you come with fans, unless you drop an, an, an astronomical amount more than they ask, most of them might stay on a month just to help you get operations in order. Majority of them are not going to stay on any longer than that from what I've seen and the listings and everything. But if they got some, an incentive like what we're teaching you guys, then you will never have to, because I don't want to teach you to just buy a, a, a business and you have to take on the responsibilities and all that bull crap. Me and Curtis, we want the people to still run the business, right? You know what I'm Absolutely. saying? Like We want to partake in the benefits of owning it, but we don't want to partake in the day-to-day -day operations and responsibilities, the, the, the firing and even the hiring and, and all of that extra crap. They can keep all that, you know what I mean? But we want to partake in the profits and, and the exits and, and the recurring you know passive incomes and the new income streams we add to it and everything. And we want to leverage them to grow that, right? So you, know, you get to negotiate better terms when you have more to bring to the table. This is the benefit of being an agency first, guys. So if you're an agency watching this, you, like I said, have a superpower. It's just about you plugging in these 10 monetization methods and converting them to partners. If you're watching this right now, is a link in the first pin comment and the description where me and Curtis will get on a two-hour coaching session with you, and we will teach y'all exactly how to plug in the 10 monetization methods, how to get them to agree to be a partner, how to get them to, instead of selling a company off for cash, you know what? Let's go ahead and be partners in this and leverage them to grow that mug. And you can build like build our franchises with this, okay? Without even using your own money. So that's what's possible. But go ahead, Curtis. So we, we want to you, you wanna transition now and talk about the five benefits. benefits. Um, and we can do this very quickly. Start off with number one. I'm gonna let you take number one, which is preserve pr preservation of cash flow. <laughs> well, uh, as you guys know, with like the regular way to do uh, seller financing, you're not putting any money down, or you're not putting a lot of money down. Sometimes you can put a little bit and then use the uh, you know the monthly revenue or profits to pay them off over time until it's paid in full and all of that. Well, how we're trying to do it or teach you how, how to do it, we don't want you to have to put any money in, right. okay? And uh, we don't want it to be uh, uh, the typical seller financing situation where you're you're the weak link. I think I need y'all to understand that you're the weak link. When you get them to agree to seller financing, you're the weak link. You're f the, the, what? No offense to them, but the top people teaching you seller financing are they're teaching you to be the weak link. When you get somebody to agree to seller financing, typically they're desperate. That's why you got to go through so many people. That's why you got to ask so many people because they're desperate. So when you finally find somebody, they're like, fine, I just don't want this any anymore. But that's even worse because they, they got fed up with it. Now you got <laughs> anyway. But my point is this. The more creative you are, the less you'll have to deal with desperate sellers. OK, so when we use creative seller financing, what it does is it, it, it allows the business owner to be excited again about their business. They're like, Dog, so we can expand. We can have more locations. I can I can That's put some people in place uh, and, and I can stop being in the office every single day. Oh, snap. You're adding right. three more uh, in revenue streams like out, hands off. Oh, snap. You just eliminated majority of the overhead. Like, dog, they're going to be excited now to still be a part of the business. You see, so this is why. We don't, want to, we don't want to just approach with the typical seller financing. It allows us to preserve our cash flow. Uh, the way we're doing it right now also allows them to save money as well, right? Uh, as well as make a lot more money. So we'll move on. Negotiation flexibility. What's going on with that? So, so you get, I mean, when you have, when you do it the way we're talking about, you get tremendous negotiation flexibility because we're not necessarily trying to do it the traditional way. And, you know, and like you said, we're not necessarily trying to work with seller, uh, desperate sellers, uh, as opposed to, um, working with people who we can re-energize and they would, in essence, be able to go, okay, maybe with these other income streams, maybe, maybe I can be flexible because now I have a totally different income stream. I have, I have. I have income streams coming from partnerships. I have income streams coming from um, mm. the militia, the the affiliate army, you know, the the nation. I have income streams coming from offers that I'm making that I'm push giving push notifications. I have these irresistible offers that we're making. I have income streams coming from things like AdSense and, um, and things like the, the changing out my POS system and the virtual gateway. I have all these other other opportunities. I don't have to be as stringent on the negotiations related to the, the your um, the brick and mortar, so to speak. For sure, for sure. Yes, sir. So it provides room, room for negotiations on the terms of the deal, and you can be very, very creative. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. So increase access to opportunity. Okay. So by leveraging seller financing, you may be able to gain access to a wider range of business opportunities that may, might be financially out of reach through conventional means. This can be particularly advantageous. Uh, advent I don't even know that word. <laughs> entrepreneurs looking to advantageous, yeah. Looking for, uh, for entrepreneurs looking to enter a new market or industry. So check this out. The benefits that you guys are going to get an agency to partner when you convert them to partners, the 10 monetization methods, what is there, what's theirs is yours. Right. Okay. So you have increased access to opportunities because whoever they got in the black book is yours now. Oh, their email list is yours now. 
their phone SMS list is yours now. You're going to be able to remarket, resale to previous current and future customers that's paid already. And you get to participate in the money that comes from that. So if it's a dentist uh, and, and you you uh, become a partner with the dentist, when you come in, you do a reactivation campaign. So you blast out uh, to the email list and the SMS list and you say, you guys come in for a teeth whitening or oral uh, uh, screening or whatever, something like that, blah, blah, blah. They, I don't know how much that is. Let's say it's 80 to 150 bucks. How you worked it out with the, the dentist is that you get 35% or, or 50% of that, right? So mm -hmm. all you did, you got access to their email and phone list and you blast it out something that they have to fulfill. Right. So five, 10 people come in, you're getting to participate in the money that comes in from those bookings. Now, that's yeah. not even the most important part. You own the data now because you're a partner too. So now you get to run ads and using those email and phone lists, using the budget of the business owner and you run into new offers. Nothing is going to be a conflict of interest. You're not going to sell them to another, you know, send them to another dentist or anything right now. But you can uh, uh, market for them new electronic toothbrushes and different services that they can come in. Um, a home kit for Invisalign or, or, or some type of teeth whitening laser home kit or something. You guys understand? So hopefully you guys get what I'm saying. By owning this data, you would never own the data if you were just getting them on retainer. They wouldn't allow you to do all of that stuff. They wouldn't allow you to message or email or DM their previous customers and stuff, right? So now you get to collect all this data to be able to come up with new offers for them as well. That would be good for their people. So like you have access to all of these opportunities just because you're a partner with them, right? Instead of just putting cash and buying the business and not knowing what to do, guys. This is why we want you to go through agency to partner instead of, I know a lot of you are agencies. So go through agency to partner and you'll know all of this stuff that we're talking about to be able to plug that in and know what to do when you do get the list, when you do get the SMS, the email list and all of that stuff, right? Um, and oh, final. Yeah, so I, I wanted to say one more thing. No, no, okay. yeah. well, no, never mind, let's go ahead, let's go ahead. All right, so alignment of interests. So when the when the seller provides seller finances, their interests uh, become more aligned with success of the business post sale, and that is very very true. Um, the last business we sold, uh, the the two owners, former owners, was really really interested because when we sold the business, they got paid their money, uh, and so they helped out quite a bit in the selling of that. Their alignment it led to a smoother transition for us than reselling the business. You know, eleven months later, and so they their vested interest was huge, and and, and they you know we had situations where the owner the business business wasn't doing as well. And the former owner actually in a, in a different business came back to help uh, because again, she had a vested interest in keeping the business going because we did a seller finance. She did do take back and she wanted to make sure that she got her money. And so she wanted to keep it going as opposed to you know doing anything else. So they have vested interest in being able to, to do that. Now, the way we do it, they have even more interest that was traditional. That's the way uh, Cody Sanchez or uh, Roland Frazier or Dan Pena teaches you, you know, when you have seller finance, they take back a note, et cetera. That's the traditional way. The way we teach you, they have not only more interest because, oh, by the way, let me step back. When when those sellers had to come back in and intervene, they sold for a purpose and they didn't want that business. So so they came back, but they came back reluctantly. Right. <laughs> you know, I, I got to come back because my money is, you know, tied up in that, you know, in that business. They didn't want the business. That's why they sold. In this case, we rejuvenated their enthusiasm for the business because now they have a digital twin. Now they have a different source of revenue. Now the business can be fun again. And even okay. if they still want to continue to sell the business, it's at a much higher valuation than they ever thought that was possible based on where they are today. And that's very important. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, so clap it up, man. I'm super happy we got Curtis on here today, man, because he's a busy guy. Um, and I know y'all are busy. So this is why we want you guys to leverage us. Everything we talk about is leverage, guys. Leverage, 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 leverage. That makes life easier. That makes making money easier. That makes uh, feeling free easier when you can leverage. All right. <clears throat> so cash is the lowest thing on the totem pole to leverage. This is why the title is the dumbest move you can do or uh, make is to buy a business with cash. That's like the lowest thing on a totem pole. Uh, you understand to, to do so when you use your skills as an, uh, a marketer or an advertising specialist and you use creative seller financing with that, guys, and you plug in the 10 monetization methods that we're going to teach you, then you can scale faster than you ever thought possible. You can right. and you don't need a, a lot of clients no more. The goal is for you to get a couple partners, a few partners. 
and plug in as many of these 10 monetization methods. The one allows you to plug in five, cool, whatever. The next one, plug in four, whatever. The next one, you plug in one, whatever. Get to your 10 monetization methods. You can add an extra 200K per month, right? You don't need to work with a million people. You don't have to stress yourself out of nothing. Plus, once you plug in these 10 monetization methods and you help them with the things that's going to be needed to increase valuation, is is hands off from that point on. They just They just continue to grow. And your passive income continues to grow as well as your reputation. You understand? So- Look, and if, look, y'all are grown men and women. Y'all have seen all of them out there. Uh, this is the first time you've been exposed to a different way of buying into businesses without using money. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, you get to partake in the benefits of uh, the equity and everything, exits, expansions, all of that by being a real partner. Uh, uh, you know, you're getting all this extra data and everything for even businesses that you want to go and build on your own. You're going to have all of this insight into industries that you would not get if you were just an agency owner, right? So for those of you who are just into buying businesses, this will help you. And those of you who are agency owners that want to convert those clients into partners and still, you can fire a majority of the clients that you have, keep just a couple, plug in the monetization methods and make more than you would make if you kept 100 clients. OK, so that's what agency to partner is about. We have lowered our coaching price. OK, so right now we are making it easy for you. You get two hours with both of us personalized. We're going to go through all 10 of the monetization methods. You're going to leave with with documents and everything you need to get started right then and there. Even if you decide you don't want to go into the membership, we won't force you. We're going to make sure you have everything you need to actually go out, get started and buy a business without actually having to get cash to buy a business or even using your credit to buy a freaking business. This is the way. This is the way, guys. I have faith Absolutely. in you. I know y'all gonna do the right thing. So go to the first pin comment, book a session with me and Curtis. This dude knows what he's doing. I know what I'm doing. Uh, let us help you. All right. So we will see you guys in the next. So Cody Sanchez will probably call you dumb as hell if you bought a business using money. After hearing what we're going to show you today, Roland Frazier will probably fly out personally and slap you on the face if you still try to buy money after this. And then Rockefeller himself will roll over in his grave after. Never mind. I'm just kidding. How can we guarantee that after you agency owners apply what we show you in the agency to partner program, you can make up to 200 K per month? This is a guarantee. Curtis, go ahead and go over step one. So the first step is we talk about the 10 monetization methodologies plus a couple of the bonus methodologies in terms of adding armies in, whether that's a, a militia army, an affiliate army uh, or an affiliate nation with the partnerships. We talk about all of those things. So just plugging those in will give you a, a measure, a tremendous measure of towards that two hundred thousand dollars. But there's a there's an even um, there's a turbocharged way of doing that. And why don't you talk about that, Dave? Yes, Lord. OK, so we are going to be adding different monetization streams other than what they already have in their current business. So if a business is trying to sell their current business, we'll be able to increase their valuation. And what we're going to be doing is creating a digital twin coined by the brother which is a buyer and a seller of businesses himself, Mr. Curtis Witt right there across from me online. All right. So we're going to increase the valuation of the company. They'll be able to have a, a larger exit. So not only will you, the agency owner that converts them to partners, be able to make exponentially more than you would if you were to just get some client retainer at, at a regular agency model, um, but the business owner is going to benefit greatly as well. So the second reason we can guarantee that you will be able to get to 200K or more per month is because... <clears throat> One of the most difficult things that you do as an agency owner is prospecting. A lot of you guys are uh, using instantly.ai. Even I in the past have promoted to you guys all of these scrapers and and, and uh, text blast softwares and, and, and voice calling softwares to prospect and DMing scripts and all of that stuff. That can be a thing of the past. So just this partnership that me and Curtis is creating right now is worth the uh, the 5k to get into this program Absolutely. to be able to <clears throat> to be able to buy businesses you can buy into businesses without using your own cash without using cash period but you still get the equity benefits of the business owner and you never put any money into it you have no responsibilities, no liabilities or none of that using what we teach. So how are we going to do this? You're going to have unlimited business owners to partner with. The business owners are literally going to be fed to you through the partnerships that we're about to talk to you about. We're about to talk to you about the partnerships that we're creating. So now. Like I said, one of the hardest things to do is not the marketing and the fulfillment. A lot of you guys are good at running ads and doing SEO. <clears throat> but the hardest part is getting past the gatekeeper. And then when you get past the gatekeeper, um, the next hardest part, <clears throat> excuse me, 
the next hardest part is getting them to agree to even pay you or allow you to. Some of you guys can't even get people on free trials. Right. So the fact that me and Curtis came with the genius idea of partnering with business brokers. No one else is doing that in the agency uh, uh, model industry. Nobody is teaching you guys to partner with business brokers. You go straight to where the hot fish are. You're a bear and you're fishing upstream where the fish are just hopping out the water and jumping straight into your mouth. Paws. This is not even a stream. Exactly. It's not even a stream. You're a bear just just putting your paw in a barrel of fish. It's not even a stream. You just put your paw right down there and putting it in there. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So, So we control the supply and the demand now. That's why it's never been anything like this before, because at will, you can you can have direct contact and communication with with the business owners that you never had before, because the broker is literally going to broker the freaking uh, conversations. They're going to broker the communications. We don't have to worry about any of that. They have business owners that have listings uh, or businesses for sale that's been sitting there for months and some of them even years that when we approach them, letting them know that, yo, you can exit. Not only are you not getting bites, but you're going to start getting bites. Like buyers are going to want to buy your business. We're going to make it way more attractive when, you, when you're when you trying to sell it. But now you're going to be able to exit at a higher close. Go ahead and tell them a little bit more about that, Curtis. So so when you think about it, when, when I was buying businesses, um, one of the things that I would do is go to the business broker and they would broker the deal. They would look at businesses that were um, that were on the market that I would either be on the buying side and I'd have someone representing me or I'd call the broker that's on the selling side and he would be represent he or she would be representing the buyer, etc. We're going the complete opposite way such that it's so attractive to a business broker. I, in fact, I talked to one of them uh, yesterday and he was like, this is the greatest thing because now I can take this list of people. First, I can take all my backlog and I can go back years to people who, you know, I couldn't sell their business or for one way or the other, one reason or the other, it didn't work out, you know, and now I can go back to them with the proposition of how we can literally sell their business. It takes anywhere from six to nine months to a year to sell a business. We can reduce that time frame by half at a minimum. Right. So that's the first benefit okay. for for uh, exactly for for them that the other thing is from a from a broker perspective it now that differentiates them from everybody else they mm. have a superpower as it relates to the digital twin that nobody else has so they you have, you're strengthening the pitch of the bit you you're, you're strengthening the pitch of the business broker so now they'll be able to get the listings uh, before any other business broker in their market, when they approach a business and the business is thinking, why should I sell, you know, use you to list my business? The same as if a realtor is trying to list someone's house to sell, like all these other people. Why would I why would use you? Right. So right. now the pitch of the broker will be not only am I going to help you sell it, I'm going to help you sell it faster and it's going to be worth more. It's going to be worth more than what you're trying to sell it for right now. Through the absolutely. digital screen. Go ahead. That's absolutely right. So, so you, so they have that as their advantage. They also get an opportunity to have, you know, you get their their regular commission. They could get a digital twin commission for selling it. They could get a portion of the equity in the digital twin. They could be able to keep it keep it for passive income for themselves in terms mm-hmm. of their portion of it. There, there are. Um, quite a few opportunities for the business broker themselves. So why would they not? I mean, you, you, you look at it from their past, their past um, listings, their current listings and their future listings. And oh. so it is a genius idea to partner with the business brokers because that's where the fish are. It's that's sort of like, that's where the fish are. You go to the stream and in our case, the barrel, not even the stream, the barrel, right? you go to the barrel where all the little goldfish are. All you have to do is stick your spear in. Boom. Yes, Lord. Boom. Yes, Lord. I don't think y'all understanding, even though we're recording this and it's past when we're recording this and you're watching this in the future, I still can see that y'all haven't that. put no hashtag yes, Lord, in the comment. If I don't think y'all understand the gravity of this. We literally just solved multiple industry problems with this one partnership, this single move right here. We have made it to where business brokers will stand out and get 
way more listings without friction. And then we made it to where all of you, uh, oh, I wake up in the morning and I scrape my email and my SMS list and I get my DM pitch and, and my closing script prepared and all of that for outreach and stuff. We just solved the yeah. outreach problem through partnerships, through leverage. You never have to prospect again. You don't have to prospect again because through partnerships of these business brokers, they have businesses that they're already close with. They're working with them. They can just call them on the phone right now. No gatekeeper. No. Uh, uh, oh, wait till they get back. No. Oh, what if this goes in the spam folder or the promotions tab? None of that. This <laughs> they, they got them right on tap and then they can just say, yo, business owner. Next Friday, I'm putting you on a call with Curtis and David. Curtis and David is going to explain the digital twin of how that's going to increase your valuation so that you'll be able to exit uh, for a larger exit when you're ready to sell faster than you would have sold without these guys. What time can you talk to Curtis and David? We don't even have to set that up. We don't prospect. We don't have to have a booking calendar like you guys, right? If you're an agency owner right now, you can literally do away with all of that. You can do away with all of that just by creating partnerships with brokers. So we're doing that right now in mass so that when you guys get into the agency, the partner program, as soon as you get in, you'll be able to go through a con our little black book of brokers message or call a broker that we partner with and be like, yo, what do you got for me? Who you, who you got for me? And they'll say, OK, let me make some calls. And they'll say right. in return, you know, they'll reply back to you. OK, I got this nail shop. or OK, I got this chiropractic clinic. OK, I got this mas uh, massage therapist place. Or I got this uh, cool sculpting technician person guy or whatever. Right. They'll reply back with that. And then you say, OK, well, set it up. And then now you start figuring out, OK, what's the first steps to plugging in a 10 monetization methods when I get on a call with this business owner? And they're, the broker is going to do the negotiations for you. You. The broker is going to show the business owner your terms and conditions that you will agree to. So you're not even going to get on the call unless they already see that you want to plug in as many of those 10 monetization steps as possible. Woo. All right, man. This is just this is crazy, Curtis, There's man. Crazy. So, we, so so you, you, you solve our problem as it relates to all the booking calendars and having to go after businesses. We got fish in a barrel. You solve fish the broker's barrel. problem relates to being able to sell their their past failed leads their current leads and giving them an, a super advantage in terms of their future listings and you solve the business owners problems in terms of the valuation <laughs> of their company yes, and no, how no, fast no. can X and so you solve that problem and oh by the way you didn't you didn't the fourth problem you solve is a problem that is overlooked and you know what that is David that what is it? things are tight out here. And one of the avenues that the digital twin promotes is affiliates and the mm -hmm. customers of that business can be an affiliate of that business, which means that customer can bring in and have an extra stream of income. Boom. Pow! Boom. Yeah, so it's actually five people that benefit. Yes. So we, we, we got to get to that a little bit later. So let me put that on the. On the dang on list, let me add affiliates. Hey, y'all, y'all going to want to stay to the end for this. I know I know how it is. A lot of people have short attention spans, but I don't believe that bull crap for real. I believe if you know that something is good for you and you can make money from it and you, it can change your life, you should be able to sit through it without transitions and B-roll on the screen and all of that distracting bull crap. Grow up. We're grown ups. Pay attention to this because this can change your life. If you're struggling, if you have some type of issue where it's difficult for you to make money or you can't go back to work or you don't want to go back to work, or you're trying to buy a business, but you don't have 50, 80, $100,000 or any of that stuff, or you don't want to come up with the money, or you don't want to use your credit or anyone else's credit, and you're trying to think of creative ways of investing, this is where it is. And if you're in the agency model and you're tired of having a million clients just to make $10,000, you, you got a million people paying you $500 for a short form content just so you can make it to ten dollars to $20,000, this is where you can pull that type of money out of one partner. Right. So this right here has solved two industries, two, two, two little dudes right here on here. We've, you know, through the graces of the most high God, have figured out how to solve the agency model and how to solve the business buying model. OK, uh, let's go to the next one, man. All right. So for the first time in history, for the first time in history, we disrupted two industries, the agency model. You can talk about that one and I can talk about the business buying model. Why don't you take okay. the agency model? Yes, sir. Okay. So, well, as long as I can remember, 
um, you know, after my little stint trying to do real estate wholesaling in 2015 and 16, when I realized that uh, business owners would pay me for leads and pay me for marketing, one of the most tedious and exhausting um, <laughs> tasks that you have to do, like it's like muscle memory now, is prospecting. Um, and every business, now that I think about it, the majority of the businesses that work off leads have prospecting to do. But we've solved that through joint ventures and partnerships. Mm -hmm. You do not have to prospect anymore if you're an agency owner. You do not have to have a lot of clients in order to make a lot of money. See, I see a lot of you guys starting to wake up. I feel like we're coming out of one of the matrixes. There's a lot of matrixes. feel like we're coming out of one of them. How do I know? Because there's this trend of growth partners coming around. You're finally starting to realize your worth. Hold on. I'm the one with the marketing skills. Why am I only getting $1,500 a month when I took them from their $100,000 uh, per month to five hundred thousand dollars, and I'm still at fifteen hundred. So now you guys are starting to add on a commission clause and all of that stuff, right? A percentage and all of that stuff. That's cool. That's cool. But what we're doing for agency owners now, you're being able to collaborate with business owners and become partial business owners if you want to. You don't even have to have your name on the their documents or any of that type of stuff. But you, right. through your own agreement forms, can participate in the exits themselves. You'll be able to make money if they ever were to decide to close uh, uh, out that business or sell it off to somebody or even send it to their son or whatever they want to do. You, if they create new locations or whatever, your revenue, your income goes up with that. Literally, right. Not just on some commission. Oh, I get paid, uh, you know, the retainer and I get paid a commission. No, 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 no. Whenever they increase whatever they're doing, you increase. You're going to have the freedom to be able to create uh, new revenue streams for them, new products and suggest new services, all of that, because you're going to be an actual partner. So it's like you're a business owner with them, but you don't have the responsibilities and the liabilities. Right. OK, so that's how we are disrupting the agency model. We're showing you your true worth, not just that you deserve some type of cut from the sale. Who, cool, whatever. You want a cut from the business. You want a cut from the legacy. You want control, right. power. You understand? And that's what agency, the partner uh, membership helps you guys gain. You don't have to have a lot of clients anymore. You can go fire all of them and just convert three to five of them into partners, plug in a 10 monetization methods, make them agree to your terms. And then you're pretty much good for the rest of your life. As long as they're in business, I'll say that for the lifetime of their businesses, you won't even have to prospect anymore. Think about that. Cause a lot of us are on churn. Like, okay, we get, we do good this month. We get, we get to $150,000 a month. Like I see all the freaking videos. And then the next month, what you don't upload is that you didn't after a lot of people left you down to about $50,000 a month now. Now you got to hit up your email softwares and all of that stuff and set up the sequences again to try to get you some more clients. Aren't you tired of getting clients? Aren't you tired of uh, consultation and strategy calls and all of that bull crap repeating the same thing over and over? Like, like, let's get lifetime partners. You hear me? But anyway, go ahead with the business model. Tell them how we're uh, disrupting the business buying model, Kurt. Before I tell them that, let me just say that let's just be really clear about the agency model and the, the marketing model. And, and it really is you're, you're disrupting it from going from a service provider to a partner. And in that partnership, that is completely different from the from a normal partner who would have the responsibility, accountability and actually not all the authority, quite honestly, to to do something in the business. And so you're literally having a hybrid model without any of that without any of that liability and so that's a disruption as it relates to being a service provider to a partner all right so when i was buying businesses i brought my partner with the broker to find the business and then i put up the money or i find the capital or i put up the credit and you know the, the whole process and that's what people teach it teach today there's all variations of it and there's nothing wrong with that if that's what you want to do so there there is because we're, we're we're not saying we're what we are saying is that we are different we're not saying it's better, yeah. worse, or the same. It's different, right? And so what everybody on the market is basically doing is a hybrid or some form of buying the business, but you control that business. And at the end of the day, whether you bought it for no money down, whether you use your nephew's credit to buy it, whether you <laughs> use the investor's money to buy it, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, you actually own that business, which means you had a responsibility for everything in that business. 
And when it closes, you had a responsibility for everything in that business. Now, let's look at our model and how we disrupt that. Everything to nothing. Because you are and all the equity in one particular group uh, or one particular entity to having a portion of the equity or all of it, it depends on your negotiation with the digital yeah. twin, plus the negotiation of a portion of the equity in the physical side. But here's the difference. Your net worth has increased dramatically with no responsibility, accountability, or liability. That's a disruption, huge disruption, because now we aren't, we aren't, it's definitely no money down, but it's no liability mm -hmm. down. Is no, hey. is, is no responsibility <laughs> down. It's no legality down. You know, huh. it's none of those down. No money down. No liability down. No legality down. No responsibility down. And all you're doing is running up on the side of them and bolting on the most value added piece that they could have in their business. And mm -hmm. you can change the valuation of the business as well. Because as we talk about. Amazon is a digital company with physical fulfillment. Walmart yeah. is a physical company with sometimes digital fulfillment in terms of their e-commerce. And so it's a and you get different valuations based on where you are. And so yeah. if you can turn that company into a digital company, the valuation each soars even more. And so and that's we what the yeah, and we know this works because about two years ago, I remember seeing some ads uh, from Ty Lopez. This is when he came out of wherever he was disappeared from, uh, and then he disappeared again. But he's just coming back again. But he started buying up old e-commerce brands like Dressborn, a lot of these offline, um, um, you know, retail companies and stuff. And then he'll build pretty much what we're trying to teach you guys to do. But he was using money to buy them. That's the difference. So he was like actually buying them with money uh, or partnering with billionaires and then they'll buy them. But what he'll do is he'll increase the valuation of them like super fast and like the revenue and all of that. He'll build them sites. Some of them didn't have sites and stuff. He'll like drive crazy traffic and then he'll sell them like what Curtis is talking about with the multiples and everything. Um, right. Um, so what, what I wanted to land back on what Curtis was saying when he said no money down, no liability or legalities down. Pay attention to this, guys. I know I always tell you guys, if you ain't got no cash yet, it's because you don't own no assets. Well, I want to kind of modify that. A wise man said, control everything, but own nothing, right? Why? Because when you do have assets, they can be seized. <laughs> All right. So it's cool. You can have some assets tucked off. Right. But a lot of things that you control, you don't want in your name. So a lot of you guys that are coming on here and thinking about buying business, you're like, Man, I want to buy the business. I want it to be in my name. That's pride. And the Bible says pride comes before the fall. What you want to do is you want to control. You want to be your own bootleg version of the Illuminati. All right. <laughs> you want to control a conglomerate of businesses and profit from a uh, uh, from a, a high number of businesses. You want to control the education, the policy, the services, whatever that comes out of that business, the face, the imagery of the business without showing your face, without showing your imagery and everything like that. Right. So like I sold limo service champs and the dude never even seen me before. Right. Like you want you want to be like that, because then it, it I don't want to say it puts you above governments, but it, it helps with that. Um, but but my point is the whole point, guys, is that you want to make a lot of money. You want to make it fast. You want to make it safe so that you can keep it. And this model that we're showing you guys is allowing us and you guys to do that when you take action. Quick little plug real quick, just in case somebody has the goal. As you go into the, the, uh, the pin comment or the description of this video, you'll see. The first link is for a two hour coaching session with me and Curtis, both coaches for two hours, no rush or anything. That's for you guys that can't afford uh, the 5K to get in. We'll just go over everything, show you exactly how to get started, pretty much give you the entire like training and steps and implementation on that two hour call, uh, you know, just mm -hmm. in case you can't afford the 5K. For those of you who can afford the membership, that is 5K, but it has uh, uh, a down payment, right, Curtis? It has a down payment. So you can either pay the 5K, that way you don't have no, you know, like, you know, monthlies or nothing, or you can put a 1K uh, down and you can see the site or whatever in the, in the first pin comment or whatever. But I just want you guys to know hesitation and procrastination are both the fathers of failure. Yes, I know it got two daddies. That's perfect for 2023 with all the bull crap going on, right? <laughs> And and what, uh, another thing I wanted to say, and I just proved this to my wife because she's getting out there. 
um, with her business and everything being more visible. On the other side of fear is usually success. So a lot right. of you guys are skeptical. A lot of you guys are fearful. A lot of you own a five thousand dollars. Let's like, check this out. How much you spend on your car without a second thought, right? But we ain't even finna go down that road. Like how much money you made back from your car? Unless you put it on Turo, why did you spend five k on the car? Down or all together? Why did you spend that? See, and you were excited to do that, weren't you? Exactly. So no, this right here can allow you to own at rapid paces, like multiple partnerships where you'll have business owners equity benefits and everything like that you don't do that with the regular business buy model. Very important you, you can't buy businesses that fast with the regular business buy model even if you're leveraging somebody else's credit or somebody else's money they're they're not going to keep allowing you to borrow or leverage them until they see wins and stuff like that but with us we have multiple brokers that we're partnering with and they're going to have multiple business owners coming in and we can deal with however many we want to plug into or how little you want to plug into right but let's go ahead and move on curtis all right so let's talk about the, the last portion of it is who benefits and uh and how will they benefit who will who all benefits more in this process is it the is it us is it the broker and how do they benefit? Is it the business owner? Is it the business buyer? Is it the customers? You know, mm -hmm. um, so you want to take number one, the us, the, the agency, the the partner. How do we benefit? OK, well, we benefit. Uh, well, we went over a few ways. We went over the fact that you don't have to get a lot of clients anymore. Uh, we, we, we went over the fact that after you get a couple partners, they can be your lifetime like income from now on. We've been right. over, went over the fact that you can control businesses without even having any legal uh, 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 responsibility. I mean, legal liabilities or responsibilities. Um, we went over the fact that you, I don't know if I mentioned prospecting again, but once you plug in a 10 monetization methods to whatever partners you're dealing with, you're definitely going to get to or surpass the 200K per month, right? So the, these are just all all benefits for you guys watching this. If you're an agency owner, I know it's business buyers watching this too. Uh, and you guys are going to get the same benefits of the agency owners. But since you're, you came in as a business buyer, you might not appreciate what I'm saying as much as the agency owners, because agency owners have a hard life. They make it look glamorous on Instagram and all of that bull crap. But unless you are Iman Gassi or one of these dudes, Agency owners have a hard life, which is why you notice that the natural progression of an agency owner is to then create a book, then a course, uh, and, and then like try to sell their agency and leave it alone for good. That's a natural progression. Who wants to deal with all of those nine to five jobs, which are called clients? This is why it's agency to partner. Go ahead. Right. Next is broker. How does the broker benefit more? Let me piggyback or, or land back, if you would, on the uh, the, the notion of the, the agency owner currently when you when you're out in the field now, when you're working with brokers who are familiar with let's say in your city you're working with three or four brokers first of all that's enough one is enough because they have five ten listings and if you just work with a portion of those listings you're good you don't need uh, as we talk about so if you have five businesses that you're working with from three brokers you're you're actually good the, the 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 thing that you also have to remember is now you can leverage those brokers because they're familiar. You can literally say to the to owners that you meet, hey, are you in the business of selling your uh, uh, you want to sell your business? And you can refer that to a uh, someone who who is familiar with the process, who then sells them not only on the the whole notion of buying or selling their business but they do the sales for you as it relates to the digital twin so all you're Ooh. doing is referring them you don't even have to talk to the business owner if they want to Boom. sell their business so just wanted to put that out there it, we're making it so simple it's oh, let me add one more thing man okay and then we're gonna move on to how the brokers benefit. Yeah. listen listen y'all agency owners you get a retainer for 5k you go on youtube and start bragging about how you signed your first client for 5k how much of that really goes into your pockets if you're really trying to get them results i'm not talking about if you don't care about getting results i'm talking about if you're really trying to get them results you might depending on the service you might be left with half, half of that maybe because the rest has to go to fulfillment right or ad budget or something like that what if <clears throat> when you partnered with the uh, the what used to be a client their responsibility is to continue with that ad budget continue with that 5k 3k or whatever but now 
it is full profit for you. You see what I'm saying? And on top of that, you're still getting the 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 commissions from getting them every piece of their sale. And we didn't even go into the 10 monetization steps of how every time they get a sale, you're going to make money from the transaction fees as well. How you're going to be putting uh, things that are going to make you money on their thank you pages, how you're going to take their email list in their SMS list and be able to promote different offers, CPA offers, affiliate offers, and make a whole new income stream for them and you from that. How you're going to create another income stream, like three income streams from the interview that we teach you about. Like, dude, just... How, how anyway, you gotta, let's, let's move on. Uh, when you clone the website, put a chatbot on there that will increase their, you know, a sales chatbot that will increase their uh, their sales because the the bot every time gives information, but it also comes back and gives, uh, hey, you you ready to you ready to move on? You ready to you know buy those roses for your wife, for your girlfriend, yeah. or whatever. Hashtag all all of that. Hashtag. So all right. So brokers, how does the brokers benefit? Well, in the broker life, there's there's one thing that matters and one thing only, sales. And how do I? And so how do I? Or actually selling the business for that person. Or for that, you know, it's not even necessarily prospects because a lot of them get a lot of referrals. So it, it's about sales. And how do I get more sales? Well, that becomes about delivery and, and you know, basically uh, turnaround time. How long does it take to sell from the time I sign somebody up, from the time I sign that chiropractor up to the time that, you know, I actually we sign on the dotted line and it goes through escrow and the business closes. How long does that take? On average, it's taking basically anywhere from six to nine months, the, the median being about eight eight months, eight and a half months, quite honestly, because some of them are out there that takes three years. So it's not just the sale, it's how long it takes. What's the turnaround time? What's the cycle time of that process, right? Now, if you can reduce the turnaround time, then for them, that is the golden key because Damn. that means that they're in, right? That's the golden key. Now, so how can I help reduce the turnaround time? I can put this sexy, <laughs> Just, this, this completely sexy turbocharged superpower advantage plug that right into the business and when it becomes so much more attractive to a potential buyer that has not only several streams of income but two different entities that they can buy that becomes really really attractive and nobody else is doing that so i can sell that business much faster than uh, it's so much more attractive which means i can sell it much faster than i normally would and that's mm -hmm. the key to brokers now you got all the other benefits they get double commission they get the ability to get equity they get the ability to uh, sell one and keep the other they i mean there, there's all sorts of benefits there but the biggest benefit is for them to be able to reduce their cycle time such that they can make more money by selling even more Woo. and having a footprint in the business. Listen, that's their that, that's, that's golden, man. That is golden. We got to go and create a dang on video for the brokers specifically on a whole different channel because you just explained that. I'm like, damn, OK, <laughs> that's crazy. If I was a broker listening to that, yeah. But anyway, OK, so. All right. So that's the pinpoint for for brokers, how they're going to benefit. So next is how is the business owner that's selling the business going to benefit? And I'll tackle this one. It has. Okay. And then, then, Curtis, you can land back. All right. Um, Like right off top for me is the fact that they're going to be able to sell for way more. Way Absolutely. more than they were initially planning on. Like, guys, uh, uh, Curtis was talking about how it, it might, uh, uh, you know, take six to nine months for some businesses to sell. Right. That might not be such a bad thing with how we're going to work with the business owner. Within six to nine Within months, we can possibly open up another location. Right. Right. How we create the digital twins once they're profitable. They can pay for the physical locations. They can cover the the overhead. They can cover the uh you know uh uh the, what do you call it the the opening of it. The uh, I was about to call it the launch. I've been online too long, but you get what I'm saying. Like the the, the online opening. exactly the online version of the physical business. We build that out first. 
And then, so it's like the reverse of how we started. We start with the with the physical business existing and we create the digital twin. When we want to inc- uh, uh, multiply locations, we'll do it online digitally first, create sales by, d- create demand in different locations, uh, start generating sales with partners that can do the fulfillment there first to prove the market in those places. And then we use our profit share that we got from those, from working with those partners to open up the locations. So three to six, six months will be enough time for us to create multiple locations and they'll be able to sell for way more. So having that conversation with a business owner would be like, you know, like, okay, yeah, let's do, let's take the whole nine months to sell. (laughs) If we're going to do something like that. Right. Um, okay. So that's them being able to sell for more. So that's super exciting already. But then this usually when it, when, when the sale is done, uh, it might be over for them. That might be it. I've heard in some situations where they still uh, get to maintain some type of uh, um, uh, month, yeah, equity or some type of monthly uh, payout or something to keep yeah. their lifestyle or something going like that. Well, now that increases. So now we'll be able to go to the business owner even after you sell. You're still going to be able to maintain around this much based off of how much we were making when you closed for if nothing That's changes, right. if none of, none, of, none of the variables change, right? So it's, it's a lot of ways that they're going to be able to benefit. A lot of the business owners Absolutely. probably won't even want to sell no more. They probably want to do, you know what? Now, this is what I got into this business for. Let's let's do this. They might want to stay on, right? Um, That's right. And they, they may want to keep their portion of the digital twin in order to have continue to have passive income. Okay. Yes, for sure. For sure. Now, yeah, that's yeah, that's what I was thinking of. But yeah, you got it right. So after this, we're going to show you guys the ebook that we uh, 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 that Curtis created for the, to educate the brokers, so that we don't have to educate the brokers, so that you don't have to educate the brokers, and and we have the ebook for the owners, so that they know like the broker is going to give the ebook to the business owner, and we're not going to get on a call with them if they don't read that freaking ebook, right? Uh, right. So everybody is going to be educated of what the digital twin is. So that's the part. The agency owners can feel relieved of that. Usually when you get on a call with somebody is to educate them. Then you're trying to set up a second appointment for the close. No, 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 no. Forget all that. We want like we don't even want to have the it shouldn't be a close. The broker should be bringing them on there for onboarding. Like they should already have agreed to our terms and conditions. Yo, ma'am or sir, based off of your industry, in order for us to pull this off, you're going to need to put fifteen hundred down. And at least five hundred a month for the for this industry, right? It varies with industry. And if they agree to that, then cool. If they don't, then guess what? It's other business owners that you'll be able to be referred to by the by the brokers, right? Um, um, um. If you guys, you know, ever like believe in one of the businesses enough to where you want to like invest in it, nothing is stopping you, right? Like we're not stopping you from doing that. So if you be like, man, I love this. The, their mission, I love their product and all of that. Their reviews are awesome. Uh, even though they ain't got the money, I want, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and fund the marketing campaigns at least for the first two months. Okay, well, do your thing because then you'll be able to get even more out of the company, right? So whatever you want to do. But our goal is to show you how to get buyers benefits uh, and equity benefits from a business without actually using your money or anybody else's money. In your money, your credit or anybody else's credit. We don't even have to have that as a discussion. Just by using the skills and the gifts and the offers that me and Curtis are going to give you inside agency to partner membership, you will be able to um, now, because like, it's a new addition, the brokers. Uh, at first, we were teaching you uh, to make the partnerships yourself. But now we're going to yeah. have the brokers in there that's going to make the partnerships for you and educate them for you. Right. Or if you already have clients, guys, you're just going to send them this book that, that Curtis created <laughs> and they're going to hit you back. I'm like, yeah, let's do that. Let's let's do that one right there. Let's do that model right there. I guarantee right. you. Book, uh, Curtis created an awesome book for business owners and for uh, the brokers. So you if, for those of you watching that got clients already right now, I don't care if it's one or three. Send them this book. And I know that they're going to hit you right back. I'm like, let me be a partner. Let, let's do that one right there. Right. Right. Okay. let's move on. So so the the, the thing that that I think is important about uh, what what you said was as it relates to, you know, the the business owner and them them selling. And let's say the business owner doesn't have the money and you don't have the money. Well, you can start with some of the other um, monetization methodologies and make Mm. some money Mm. really quick. Right. I mean, Mm. SMS. And email, you can start with some of those, make a Damn. few hundred dollars really quick, and then move that money 
into a, a campaign. So mm. you don't have to have the money up front all the time. You can <laughs> let's make some money with the with the the actual um, you know CPA offers. Let's make some money with the the uh, thank you page. Let's make some money with a quick SMS. Let's create an offer. Let's create a Black Friday offer. Boom! Mm -hmm. Right now, create that Black Friday offer. Make some money. Take a portion of that money, and for February or uh, December, now you have a budget. Damn. Okay, man. See. That's what it means to be resourceful, guys. Uh, you heard people saying making nothing, uh, something out of nothing. Yo, he just hit y'all yeah. up the head with, with 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 the dang on hot frying pan. I hope you were paying attention. So I hope that got your attention, man. So even if the business owner, like I wasn't even thinking of that, right? Even if the business owner don't have the budget to like start running ads or doing the SEO campaigns, if they have, we in, on the inside the agency department, we teach you to, you know, through the agreement. You're going to have access legally to their email list mm -hmm. and their SMS list. This is all of the customers that's previously bought from them or opted in on their sites from the moment that they started business all the way up until now. So it's easy to sell somebody that already bought something from you. So what he's talking about doing is when we teach you to send out a reactivation campaign. OK, this is, hey, we haven't saw you in a while. Last time you were in here, we fixed your braces. You know what I'm saying? How about, you know, we know how difficult it is for you to keep your teeth clean up under those mugs. So how about you come in for 15, uh, 15 dollars off of teeth whitening? Right. Reply back to this text. So what he's saying is when he uh, when those people reply back to those texts and they come in and everybody pays, you know, twenty five dollars or whatever, blah, blah, blah. At the end of that week and you got almost a thousand bucks or something like that. That's enough money to run a new Facebook ad for the same freaking offer in that area. You see what right. I'm saying? So you can use what they already have to create the uh, the budget, the marketing budget for them. So that's that's yeah, that was bars right there. That was bars, right. There. right. All right. So business buyer, what does the business buyer get out of it? Well, all of a sudden, the business buyer goes from, well, let me let me give you a scenario. I buy a business. I walk into the business. The moment I walk in, here's the two things that happen. The first thing is the employees start saying, well, you know, I haven't gotten a raise and blah, blah, blah. And this was wrong. And that's what's wrong. And this is wrong. And that's what's wrong. And you know what? I'm going to quit if I don't get this, this and this happened to me every single time, every time. <laughs> Second thing that happens is the, the business customers basically are like, you know what? I was loyal to X, Y, Z. I don't know you from the man in the moon and the cherry on the top. So <laughs> I don't have any loyalty to you. I don't have to stick with you. I don't have a prepaid with you or anything such that I have to stick with this business. So I'm going to go shop around. Okay. Mm. You walk into a as a business owner, when you just bought a business with a digital twin, you walk into a situation where you can lose a certain amount, 20, 30 percent of your business because you can ramp up a portion of that business on the other side with that digital twin. So as a, a the benefit to a business buyer is that they reduce the amount of risk that they have of that business turning sour literally immediately. So that's the first thing. Second thing is they make a dif differentiation and they can ramp up their other side. See, we probably have not optimized in six to nine months all the things that you can do with that digital twin. We probably only scratched the surface, right? Mm -hmm. To get yep. another extra 50, 75, 100, $200,000 out of the total company with the sale. So we've only scratched the surface. The next owner can take it to the next level. That next owner can really... Um, you know, organize the affiliate militia, can really organize the affiliate marketing army, can really organize and take advantage of all the partnerships and the affiliate nation that that partnership brings. The next owner can do that. Whereas, you know, we, we, we did it to increase and skyrocket the value. That next owner can take it to the moon. And that's a big deal. So they benefit that way. They benefit from the way of being able to just you know, take advantage of all the things that's coming up as it relates to um, AI and the digital side and utilize, truly utilize their physical as a physical distribution and outlet for the digital. Mm -hmm. And that's how I think that they, they truly benefit. The other thing is the potential of that business is double and triple. 
they probably are buying a business at a value that's quite quite honestly less than the true value and certainly a lot less than the potential value of that business and so when i talk to brokers all the time about the physical business they always talk about yeah it has the value of this and you could do this and you could do that just take a look at one of the listings what would you do if you were staying on well i would do this and i would do that and i would do this that's bull crap bull crap bull crap bull crap <laughs> hey, they're not doing all that. you know and there's no whereas when you have a digital twin you know that you know you know, agency owners, you know that you can basically do an SMS campaign. You know that you can do CPA offers. You know that you can do um, click to call offers. You know that you can do the, the thank you pages. You know that you can do email campaigns. You know that you can do clones, lookalike content or things on, on Facebook. You know you can do all of these things. You know that you can. They're not doing those things. And I guarantee you, go look at a listing on Biz by Sale. I guarantee you, they don't show the things that you can do on the digital side, what they're talking about you should do into, in order to increase the business. That's the difference. Well, let me just say this. You as the agency uh, partner, you can actually stay on with the new owner and get a fee there. Because they need yeah, to man. know how to. Oh that. snap! You you right, man. Because <laughs> <laughs> because it's 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 literally inherited trust. See, guys, do y'all see how realistic it is? Because somebody was asking, "Oh, how can you guarantee that uh, we can get to two hundred k per month?" Listen, we're not telling you guys to sell trinkets on TikTok. This is big boy business. We're telling you to go into a, a niche where you're helping people buy and sell businesses. Becoming a partner of people that buy and sell businesses, just by default, you're going to be making more money than most niches out there. Everybody is trying to juggle and figure out which niche should I join with my agency. Dog, like these brokers are making a killing and the business owners make a killing and the person that's buying the business, they make a killing. Check this out. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. So you're going to inherit like trust with the new business owner because they're going to know based off reputation and communication with the broker and the previous owner, you're the reason why the, the valuation went up. So right. they're going to have this little fear of like, OK, what if it goes back down? Right. So they're going to like, how, how much will it take? You know, like, what would it take for me to keep you on as a consultant or advisor or, or, or something like that? Right. You are already yeah. still going to be making money from the part of, uh, portion of the digital twin that you own. Even when they sell off the physical part to the new business owner, your portion of the digital twin lives on. So if they uh, decide to keep you on as an advisor or give you some type of seat or something, that's a whole nother benefit in, in income stream. Right? Listen, Absolutely. and they're going to choose you over any other advisor because you're the one that took the business that they just bought and skyrocketed, man. Hey, Curtis, oh, you ain't with them. Let's not even forget the fact that the, the former owner just sold the business, just sold a portion of the digital twin. Do you think that that former owner um, just woke up the, the yesterday and don't know anybody? And you think that that former owner knows a few businesses, owners that like themselves. You think that the former owner wouldn't be bragging about the fact that they had his digital twin and, and blah, blah, blah. And you think that the people that he, he or she are bragging to won't be going, well, I want that. Yeah, but no, that's all I'm saying. Like things like this, guys, no. makes it to where you don't have to prospect anymore. Your reputation is going to just be spread it's just going to be you're just going to be that that guy or that girl. You know what I'm saying? You're just going to be that guy or that girl. So you're going to start getting hit up from anonymous places and stuff like, yo, 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 I heard that you sold blah, blah, blah. And they were selling it for 20K when you met them. And then they got out of it at blah, blah, blah. Yo, we need that same thing, man. What's going on? Like, what do we need to do? Imagine that, guys, versus you sitting and prospecting and begging or trying to craft an irresistible offer like I was telling you all about and all of that. Now, people will be fed to you. Pause. OK, like cannibalism in marketing. Now, this point, <laughs> but people will be fed to you no longer. That, that, that's that's why we don't enjoy our agencies. It's not really the fulfillment part It's like the fact that we got to combine combine the prospecting with the nagging and the fulfillment that we'd be like, you know what? Forget all that. Now we can solve all that. You know, you guys need to go to like if you're smart, you would go to one of those first pin comment uh, comment links. One of them, 
You understand? Because we want to give you guys this wealth of knowledge and experience that we have. Like I said, I I only sold one business, only one. But Curtis has bought and sold multiple businesses, and I've increased the valuations of multiple of countless businesses. So with our combined like wisdom, you guys are going to be fully equipped to make more money than you ever thought possible. Um, OK, so it's my turn. Number five. Right. Yeah. And I, yeah. Number five, which is customers. We said that we would do. How does how does the customer benefit from this? OK, so the customer benefits because with us on the team is going to be way more creative offers that will benefit because when we create the digital twin, the company is going to have access to more customer data than it never had before. With its just physical location It's not going. It doesn't know how to like aggregate the customer data, analyze it and come up with new offers like that are like personalized. Uh, for each customer and everything, we we leverage AI and all of that stuff that's going to create like offers that are tailored for their uh, previous and uh, previous current and new customers coming in. On top of that, as Curtis mentioned before, we're going to add a new income stream to their current customers by converting their current customers into affiliates. And when they use the power of word of mouth, and we'll just use the example of the dentist, the dental practice again. All right. So remember, we were talking about we're going to have access to their email list and their SMS and we're going to reach out and send a reactivation campaign. Well, this time when we reach out through that email, SMS and DM uh, list, what we're going to be saying is, hey, you've been coming to us for years, but we've never had a chance to pay you back. You've given us so much money with appointments, but we never had a chance to pay you anything. How about this? You have at least five to 15 people in your family. For everybody that you get to come in for a teeth whitening session, we're going to pay you that. Oh, snappage. Come on, y'all. Come on. So now these people that just went in to get their teeth clean can actually turn this to a business. Now, once they run through their family, pause, they're going to start thinking, dang, I got like, yeah, hella friends go. on, I got hella friends on Facebook. I got, friends, I got followers on TikTok in my location and I got a little local YouTube channel because I'm a real estate agent and I, I talk about this. I can have a little clip in there. Hey, by the way, guys, you always been commenting that I smile a lot when I'm doing showings. And uh, this right. is the dentist that I go to. Tell them I sent you blah, blah, blah. Like, dog, I think we killed it today, Curtis. You know, but y'all let Absolutely. us let us know in the in the comments with a hashtag. Yes, Lord. If, if uh, uh, you enjoyed this, if you've been edified, if you got clarity, if you understand that it would be dumb for you to buy businesses with your cash or even somebody else's cash. I'm sorry. I understand that that's leverage. But now with this new technology and with this new knowledge that you guys have, you understand that there's another option. You don't have to leverage credit or money now. You don't have to have a face on there. Nothing, nothing tracing back to you for real, for real or nothing like that other than a simple agreement form like you and you can have all the benefits of being at home. Right? right. And more and more if you're an agency. So Curtis, uh, if you want to say something and then go ahead and show them a little little snippet. Yeah, of the book. If you let me if you uh, share it, give me permission to share the screen really quick. Uh, dang, I'm on this phone. I don't know. I don't. If uh, not, then, then I can always we can always if there's people that's interested, we can always send it to them. Well, guess what? Right. We'll send it to them. And like I said, in the first pan comment, guys, it's a two hour session. Like my yeah. sessions for SEO used to be one to three K for me to sit on a call and go through SEO with you for an hour or two. So you get two coaches and we're going to outline and lay out everything we're discussing with you in detail, like literally saying, go do this, go do this. Go do right. this. This is how you partner with the broker. This is how this is what happens after you partner with the broker to get them to just feed you the business owners that are ready to expand or exit. This right. is how you monetize the 10 steps. Right. And you're so going to get all of that. And you'll get the two ebooks. You'll get the two ebooks, one for brokers that basically say digital game changer, how brokers can uh, let me tell you the exact uh, tell you the exact uh, digital game changer, how brokers can use the digital twin to uh, to basically kill it, in essence. Uh, oh. I'll tell you the exact title. And then the other title, uh, this is not coming up, pause. The other title is uh, the profit generator, the nonstop profit generator, you know, which is for the owner. So you get book, you get the ebook for the, the business 
owners that you can send out to them and you get the uh, ebook for brokers that if you want to make contact with brokers you don't want to go through us and all that process and you will we'll help you do it yourself you know just do it yourself just here here you go here are two assets that you can utilize that you can leverage to uh, go out and do it yourself so for sure, for sure. okay that's what is it <clears throat> okay so if you when you guys i'm gonna say if right we want 2024 to be the most profitable year that you've had so far and when not if we want your success we want to know when you're going to win not if you're going to win so when you go to one of those links in the first pin comments you're going to be taking the step the first step to controlling the win you're going to win this upcoming year guys like i, I can't baby food you i can't gerber you and bib you and belt you or burp you all right. A lot of you guys watching this are grown ups. You can't be scared to make money and you can't be scared to pay or invest money. It's just paper. You exchange it for value of something greater. OK, guys. So the first pin comment will be a coaching session. If you want to take it slow like John Legend and just get on there and try it like that. Or the first or the second um, uh, link will send you straight to where you can break up or pay the entire 5K. If it, whichever one is affordable for you is the membership. You're going to have access to us, access to the private community, access to the training in the membership, access to all the brokers that we're partnering with, access to anybody else that have any experience that we have, access to interviews that we're going to be doing and everything like that, guys. Like you're going to have full access to everything you need to go from where you are financially right. this year. If you're not great, if you're not happy or satisfied with where you are financially, this is as clear as I can make this. Looking over in the suggested section of YouTube for another tips and trick video is not going to change your life. We went through all of it. I've been on here since 2015, tried pretty much every business model, drop shipping, drop service and drop all of that. Right. Amazon, FBA, CPA, marketing, affiliate marketing, all of that. Everything works, but nothing allows you to be the controller of assets with no liabilities, no responsibilities with the full benefit of being an owner without investing any money into the business itself while being able to gain a skill to grow any business that you want to at will. Come on, man. Come on, baby. Come on. So we got me and we have Curtis. You guys go ahead and take advantage of one of those two links in the pinned comment. Did you want to say something to close out, Curtis? No, I, I think I think you hit it on. The, I, I think you 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 know, boom, hit it on the head as it relates to what they need to do. Take advantage of this, people. I mean, honestly, we, we, we couldn't have made it more simpler. I, I, all the methodologies that you use, we've solved all of or as many problems as, as we could figure out. You know, what would be your issue? I don't have no people. OK, we'll go solve that problem for you. I don't have no I don't have no money to buy a business. OK, we'll go solve that problem for you. I don't have I can't do. We've solved all the problems for you. All you have to do is show up. I don't know how we can make it more easier. I, I really don't. Listen, I, honestly, listen, I, I the that. scripture, the scripture says, be the flock, you know, Tell them the truth, whether they hear it or bear. After the first and second ammunition, reject. So we can only tell you so much before we just talking to a wall. Uh, some of you right. are stubborn. You know that you need this, but you're going, you know, let me check out a few more things before I make a decision. Well, let me tell you all this. Problems don't stay the same and prices don't stay the same. Problems get worse without action. It's never going to be a point in history where you stay still and the problem gets better. It's only going to get worse. If you are behind on rent and you don't do nothing, next month is going to be worse. If you owe on your car and they're threatening to repossess it and you don't do nothing, it doesn't get better. Quit sitting in Christianity and just magically hoping things and blessings are going to fall in your lap. The scripture says, by God, actions are weighed. You got to do something. You got to. There is no cash in without action. You got to do something, guys. And gals, whoever's watching this, you have to do something. So on the other side of fear is is usually the freaking success that you just get this thin veil. It's like a little super microscopic thin veil separating you from being where you want to be financially. And money can't buy happiness. Uh, a rapper said money can't buy happiness, but it's a, a damn good uh, down payment <laughs> because like it solves enough problems to put you on the path to where you have enough time, freedom, location, freedom and financial freedom to to then locate the happiness that you want. 
The Bible says, seek peace and pursue it. So if you, you know, some of you guys might think this is not a good business model. I doubt it. But if, if you're being honest, but if you know that this can bring you peace, you should not let no amount of money stop you. Are we charging high? Why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we? Right. Like if this is going this is a transformation. If you've been fat all your life and then you came to a coach that can like get you the six pack just by following them in six to nine months. That's worth whatever. That's worth what freaking ever for that transformation. We're trying to help you transform emotionally, mentally and financially. You hear me? Just by doing this business model, it can help you. OK, Curtis, go ahead and close it out. I was just going to say, you know, we talk about cost and price. Yeah, what's relative? It's it's all relative. Go on Biz by Sale, LoopNet, um, buy your biz, go on Craigslist and look at people who are selling businesses. You're buying a business. And here's what I promise you, because this is going to happen, regardless of whether you buy and whether you're in there or not. Here's what's going to happen. This is going to be packaged as a, a, a digital twin agency. And it's going to be by January, the end of January, it will be on Biz by Sell and NoopNet for fifty to $75,000. Mm. You can pay me now or at the Fram commercial. I'm dating myself right now. There is a, <laughs> a, a, a filter commercial. Pay me now or pay me later. Yeah. yeah. What we are giving you, what, what's going to be the difference between that $50,000, $75,000 business? It's a package of, if you're in... Um, if you're in Long Beach, California, it's a package of brokers that are in Long Beach that will specifically work with you and you have unlimited amount of businesses. Boom. You you Boom. have more than you can ever handle. Whereas right now we're teaching you. So we're doing everything that we're doing for you right now will be in a done for you type of scenario. All you have to do is just plug yourself in and you're not doing it on a gig basis. You're not doing it on a, a side gig basis, a yeah. side hustle. Hell, hell with that. If you pay 50 to $75,000, <laughs> you're actually working your business on a daily basis because you're trying to make yes, millions of dollars, right? And yes, so sir. we're going to sell that. You can take advantage of where we are now or next year you can pay 50 to 75, $100,000. There's a broker company out here in Arizona, in Phoenix. They sell you a broker, uh, a, a business broker company for $100,000. This is no lie. You can go on Biz by Sale and put in business broker. To They sell you a $100,000 company and they give you nothing other than SOPs and yeah. a couple of leads in a month. That's it. You know, and, and that's a good idea. I'm happy you brought that up. What we should do? You know, to start, no offense to anybody watching right now. I hope you guys, I pray that you guys are action takers, but to hop in front of the real people uh, uh, that want to be action takers on something like this, that wouldn't be even considering 5K as high. Think about this. I targeted you guys through keywords for uh, Cody Sanchez, uh, targeted you guys uh, through keywords for buying businesses. You guys should be used to seeing numbers like 5,000, 10, 20, 30, 100,000. Those numbers shouldn't scare you. Right. So instead of you spending that money that you were going to spend on um, the actual I business guess. itself, all you're doing is replacing that with a, a lower cost version of getting into our membership where then you'll still be able to get the business, but you won't have to pay the 50 or the 20 or the 100 grand that you were going to pay. So it's actually way more beneficial for you guys. But what we're going to start doing is we're going to start targeting keywords for people that are interested in buying franchises. Exactly. Because then they'll know for a fact that, you know, OK, we'll we'll know for a fact that these people are serious. And I, like I said before, there's no disses. I, I pray that you guys are serious. We'll find out. Right. Um, but, yeah, we're going to start doing those type of videos, too. It's a, it's a channel called Franchise City that I used to watch. And it used to be like, yo, don't buy a subway. <laughs> right. So, uh, guys, gals watching this. It's time to grow up. y'all. If you are past the age of 30, do this do it you hear me like you no more room for error you hear me like it's time to start building a legacy it's time for money because god didn't make it the, the the streets of heaven are paved with gold god didn't make it to where money is supposed to be like our main concern in life and that's all we think about 24 7 the only reason why we think about it so much is because we're afraid of lack of it but the moment you get some stability and you start growing it and it takes on a life of its own through these 10 monetization steps now you can focus on the things that really make you happy that's why i said it's a good down payment
right? Now you can start going on trips. Now you can spend more time with the wife that was about to cheat on you or leave you and you had no idea. You only got one month left before you find out she's about to head over your brother's house. Now I'm getting a little extreme. I'm just messing with y'all. Or maybe. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> okay. But my point is, guys, I said it before. Problems don't get better with time and price don't get lower unless you get some type of special, but that's temporary, right? Prices go up when value increases. And we're going to continue making this more valuable with more partnerships, more joint ventures, more experience, more knowledge, case studies and stuff that we're working working on and stuff currently. All of that stuff is going to make it to where this is just some type of once a year mastermind where heads of industries can get access to it. Soon, you it won't be just common knowledge, guys. So we're trying to make it accessible for everybody. And I said everybody because even though it's 5K, when you go to the site, this is the second link. Right. It's the second link in the pinned comment. Even when you go to the site, it has an option, multiple options for you to break up the payments. This is no excuses. Right. No. This is the best thing that I've seen in affiliate marketing, a business buying agency model, drop shipping, drop servicing, CPA, whatever you want to call it. Coding. Uh, a lot of you guys are coding and starting going to these coding boot camps so you can go and get a tech job. and all. None of that is messing with this. That's not a cocky thing. It's, it's, a, it's a guy thing because you're supposed to have assets and we want to control assets. That's right. OK. But anyway, we're going to ride off into the sunset because uh, uh, I, I'm on the phone, so I can't give Curtis access to share the screen, which sucks. Uh, but like he said, if you book uh, when you we're not going to use the if word when you guys book a call, uh, not a call. When you guys book a coaching session in the first pan comment, take the leap. Don't count your ducats. Just go to the link now and just do it right. Or when you go to the second one and you get inside the membership, you're going to have access to all of our assets and all of our contacts. Curtis has been buying freaking businesses and selling them since you were in diapers, getting diaper rash, hoping that your mama sued Johnson and Johnson. OK, <laughs> so I'm just, I'm just just trying to let them know the gravity of it, man. For real, for real. So, all right, man, uh, there's only so much we can say. Jay-Z voice. <laughs> Um, do a Jet Li sidekick, Jeet Kune Do style to the share button. Put this in all of the entrepreneur, business buying, uh, affiliate, uh, uh, franchise and, and and freaking, oh, agency, marketing agency groups and stuff like that. Share this with any agency owner that you know and tell them we challenge them to have a better agency model than what we're showing you guys right here. All right. Love you guys. See you in the next one, Laura's Will.